show with Dave and the boys on After Hours. <laughs> Dave said I was in second degree heart failure <laughs> and laughed. I didn't think it was funny, but he did laugh. And then I called him later on that night because my blood pressure was through the roof. And he was out having sushi with a friend of his. And he said, how you doing, Jim? I said, I think I'm dying, Dave. I, uh, my blood pressure is through the roof. He said, don't worry. Don't, oh, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was writing my, I write my notes every day. And I was just saying how taken back I was when Dave said I was in second degree heart failure <laughs> and I didn't have long to live. So here I am. I figured, what the hell? I don't have that long to live. Let me just really air out my feelings about what happened. And I wrote it all down right here. Dave didn't care that I was a second degree heart failure. He turned it into a show. And uh, everybody was laughing. And I, 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 was, I was beside myself. And I had a, I, my heart rate was going to even higher. So at that time, I had, a, I, had a, I had to just close myself down and get off the show because Dave was telling me, I, and then they made me put my leg up in the air and, and I did the water test on my leg. And Dave said, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're definitely in second degree heart failure. I said, thank you, Dave, I appreciate that. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I ran off the show and uh, I went straight to the VA. I thought I was gonna die, but- uh, Well, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy, uh, let me say, Jimmy, you're not gonna die. We're here for the confessions. We're back. The show is about to start, and we're going to delve into what happened with Jimmy, his near-death experience, and many, many more topics. Welcome back. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome. That was Welcome. very Welcome. heartwarming. And um, in honor of our last trip, Jimmy, I'm wearing your vest from Alabama. And I got to tell you, it looks excellent on you. Excellent. You know, sometimes think, the I, devil I, sometimes I, the devil likes to dress up, you know, sometimes so people don't recognize him. I think you should keep that vest, Lee. I think no, it's... Uh, I'm going it, 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 to send it back to you, Jimmy. I just, you know, I just thought I'd put it on today because I can't find my priest outfit. So I figured the devil would come in nice clothes, like a sheep nice. in wool clothing, you know. Every Very time. nice, you know. I, I wish time. I wish you were on after hours with me the other day, Lee, because... Jimmy, I saw that. Yeah, I saw I, that. I, my, I was, heart I, was like, my heart sunk in my chest when I saw uh, that. You, you know, before, you, you know, I didn't realize that Tyler had the mm -hmm. camera on me and I was writing down mm -hmm. notes mm -hmm. about what happened. And I was very, very heartfelt, a very heartfelt feeling what you were feeling right very, now. It's like, I'm, I'm, it's like we had a window into your soul. I was going to say, like, what a unique opportunity to be a fly awesome. on the wall of Jimmy's soul. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what happened because I had I had the phone on, but I didn't know, you know, I was waiting for you guys and, and yeah. I, I was just sitting here having, you know, maybe my last, last glass of wine. And I was writing notes down I, just in case I, you know, did, I kick off and my brother uh -huh. comes here and he could, you know, he could read the, what I was writing down before I checked out. And uh, part of it was... I bet, know, I, bet, I bet it says, like, Lee, I'll miss you, brother. You this, you that, Tyler. Oh. Great. Oh. So when it gets to Dave, it's just going to say, fuck you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as a matter of fact, I did have that. Uh, I, don't, I don't, you can't see it, but I did have that on here. I said, you know, yeah. I know Lee loves me. I know John loves me. I, I, I know George. I know Tyler loves me. I says, I do Dave, love you. I, have, I miss Baxter. I, Baxter loves you. Baxter you. loves you uh, more than Baxter, Baxter loves you, Jimmy. He hasn't met uh, you yet. Baxter though. loves me, and, and I, you know, I know Rachel. Rachel yeah. also loves yeah. me. Rachel and is and I you. and I was saying, I was writing all this down. And I said, if I kick off tonight after the show, mm -hmm. at least my brother can find these notes and call yeah. Dave up. And, and when you got, to, but when you, you know, got to Dave's name, what 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 did you write? What feelings come? I bet you were just blank. You didn't know what to write beside it. Well, I, I wrote everybody's name down, and then I wrote a little bit, you know, like how I felt about everybody. Mm -hmm. And when I got to Dave, uh, my mm -hmm. hand was started. You know, 
I was, my hand was shaking. I, 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 I yeah. yeah I, when I, the pad was like, you know, and uh, I was very upset and uh, I felt left out in a car. I felt like, I actually felt like when the, the Eskimos, I don't know if you know the story about Eskimos, but when you get too old, okay, yes. mm -hmm. what the family does when you get too old is they, they take the dog sleds and they take you way out in the ice somewhere. No way. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, they do. Yes. And it's like, say it's the grandmother or the grandfather. They're like too old. They can't carry their weight no more. So mm -hmm. the Eskimos put them on the sled with the dogs and they take them out way out in the tundra out there in the snow yeah. and the blizzard. And they take them off the sled and they sit them on the ground. And they kiss them goodbye and they leave. They leave them for the polar bears. And that's exactly how I felt what Dave did to me. He left me for the polar bears. That's how I felt. I was very, very upset. I was going <laughs> to, I was going to, I was going to, I'm sorry. Uh, it only happened during uh, famines. Uh, I was going to, I'm crying. I'm sorry. Was, uh, my feelings. You're crying? Was, yeah. I hope you die. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I'm you so die. I'm so emotional right now. Me. I hope I will firmly get you before the bears tear you apart. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I mean, either way, you know, listen, I also wrote that down here when you die. Okay, I wrote that in the notes. I, I, as a matter of fact, I wrote it under Dave's name. I said, Dave, I know oh, when, no. when, I, when you die or when I die, I know that life moves on. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the day of my wake, when you come and visit me, I wrote the whole thing. Down. I'm going to send it to him. Yeah. I says, I know the day of my wake, when you come to visit me and see my stiff, cold body in a box, <laughs> and my hands slightly crossed in front of me, maybe with a couple of magazine covers thrown in the box. Yeah. I said, I know. I said, I know you're going to just kneel down and look at me and shake your head. <clears throat> I'm choking up. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and you're going to just get up, turn around, and you're going to start talking to Sid and Armand and all your friends while your best friend lays there in a box. Oh, and, man. Him and, uh, him, him and Armand have already gone to Mexico, Jimmy, dancing on your grave. Very quickly, leave the memory of me behind. Hopefully, I wrote this down too. I said, hopefully, you will do a little tribute for me. Let me write that down. I spelled tribute wrong. Tribute. Hopefully, <laughs> you will do a tribute for me on After Hours, The Life and the personality of Jimmy the Bull. Hopefully you'll give me that, you know, because I am in second degree heart failure. And yeah. uh, that would be very nice, Dave. He'll probably give you, probably give you a two minute gap on the show or something. And what I also wrote down is I wrote down to Dave that, you know, maybe he could make up a shirt and then I want a group picture of everybody. Tyler, yeah. you, Lee, everybody. John oh, Romano. no, Jimmy, I, I don't a, like it. I don't like it. I want, I want, a, I want a group picture made yeah. up. Eight by yeah. ten, okay, and I want everybody <laughs> to sign it. And when they're lowering my stiff, dead, cold Jesus body in the ground, okay, I want them to just, you know, all pass the picture around, you know, above the ground, and then take the picture and throw it down into the but hole like that. I think, I think, I think, I think we'll leave Dave out of the picture. Though. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, well, at Instant that point, game. what I want Lee to do is I want Lee to, you know, uh, put his arm around Dave and walk him away from the hole and say, yeah. listen. And say, you I, don't I, deserve I, to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus say, you know, I, you know, Dave, I know you really don't want to be here. Just let's let's walk over to your Maserati. Let me yeah. let me take you back to your Maserati now. You and you and I'm on you and I'm on go back to Mexico and sit by yeah. I know that, you know. Nobody cares, and you know. I got, I got a better plan, walking. Jimmy. I'll dig another hole. I'll lead him away, and hit him with a shovel on the head, and dump him <laughs> in the. Other hole. There it is. Turn violent. And I'll bury him while he's alive. While he's alive, screaming, <laughs> throwing the dirt on him, and he won't be able to move because I've hit him that hard. He'll be laying there just watching me throw the dirt on him. Kind of like Goodfellas, right? When, and even, when, yeah, and even though you're dead, Jewish. even though you're dead, Jimmy, <laughs> even though you're dead in the box, you'll yeah. hear Dave screams and choking on the dirt as I feel he's falling. Arms muscle, everybody. And I'll say, I'll say, that's for telling me to fake GH, Dave. You deserve it. Uh, oh God! And then, as once Dave is, and buried, then he's got Dave, more. Dave's, <laughs> Dave's spirit will enter the earth and all the <laughs> with a little Jimmy's ghost tail. Does he have a little Jimmy's ghost tail? Box, Jimmy's box is going to open. 
and like the second coming, like Jimmy's Lazarus. going to rise up, rise up <laughs> out the ground. We had to sacrifice Dave to bring Jimmy back, and that was a sacrifice we were willing to make. As long as he gets a little ghost tail like Casper, you know. Listen, up in the all air. I want is love for my brothers, my true brothers. Okay? Oh, that's all it is. At 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 the, at the wake. That's all. That's all. I don't want anybody there that's fake. I yeah, want well, all Dave's my true friends. Coming. You know, Dave's not coming then. <laughs> and and that's that's really all I want. I, I really don't need much. Yeah, we'll all be we'll all be there, sad, telling stories about Jimmy, saying, "Oh, what a great guy." Yeah. Dave's going to yeah. walk in and go. I told you he was going to die. I told him he was going to die. <laughs> Why is anybody surprised? Why is anybody yeah. surprised? Who's surprised? Why are you all upset? Yeah. Where is surprised? Look, yeah, look at it. Look, look at the way you live. Hot dogs, yeah. beer. Okay, you know. all right. I've had a few beers. Let me let me try the 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 break the RX muscle breaking news, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I need yeah. like a I need like a set to like the desk and everything and the laptop. Like uh, Dave Balombo here. Uh, sad news to report: RX muscle, uh, uh, one of our own, Jimmy the Ball. Uh, I called it a mile away. He should have listened to me. Second degree heart failure. You know, uh, this happens. Was it on the right regimen? All right. How's that? Good. Nice. And, like that's, that. and, and that's about all the time he would give him, and then he'd move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop talking about the growth hormone and shit. No, yeah. No, 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 insulin and stuff. <laughs> you got to circle back about GH. And then, you know, of course, Armand will kick, and, and Larry will kick right into that conversation. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. leave me right, oh, the, I didn't like, get a right chance, in the back. I didn't get a chance know? to put him in the hospital. He died before I could put him in there. Oh no! <laughs> wow, hey, well, what a start to! Uh, I am going to say a... prayers tonight before I go to bed. After this conversation, I'm going to tell yeah. you right now. A couple hell marys. Maybe I should get rid of this note. You know what? I'm going to I'm yeah. going to write a whole new note. I'm just for now. Yeah. Just I'm going to get rid of tear this it up, one. tear it up. Yeah, tear it, I'm going yeah, to I'm going to make a whole new one before. Do you I go know to bed. that's a just... that's healthy, Jimmy. That's a healthy yeah. way to. Yeah. You know it is. You know, personal therapy right there. Leslie's ago, proud. You've got to write it down, Jimmy. Write down all that. You stuff. know, I got, I'm going to tell the fans you. Out you got to burn it. Burn it, Jimmy. Gonna, uh, Lee, you read my mind. I was just going to say yeah. this to the fans. What you got to do is write down your desires, right? You yeah. put a piece of paper like this here, and you write down all your desires. I would like this. I would like that. <laughs> I don't want burn this. A little bit of this. <laughs> Please help me with that. Yeah, and let me not end this way. And when I die, please let my friends visit me at the casket. Oh my god, lower me in the ground. And then, okay, then when you know, good, then but... when you're done with all that, you know, this yeah. is what they, this is what they taught me in seminary school when me and Lee we graduated the Vatican. <laughs> okay, after after you after you write your your your. Yeah. You, oh, you, you, you take your, you take your prayers. <laughs> He's gonna burn the house down. He's gonna be <laughs> careful now. You take your, <laughs> you take your prayers. <laughs> we got a full fire alarm going. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna, gonna go with a, that? Let me get a finger through. I don't know. Through. I, don't know, know I, I didn't think about that when I lit it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So anyway, oh, shit. oh my so, god. So once hit it with uh, the pad, hit it with the notepad. Hit it with once, the notepad. Yeah, stamp it out. Once the flame, you know, and that now here comes. The smoke. Now, this is what you got. Then you got to. <laughs> you got to don't here. breathe and, it in. That's toxic. And the and, and, and that's and that's and that's yeah. how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. That could have went bad there when you're doing comic relief. And you're playing the head. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for. Oh, oh and it, the whole desk is on fire. <laughs> you got a bottle of vodka burned, there. The vodka tips actually, over. <laughs> I, I actually burned a little hole in the desk, but that's okay. So. That Let's, hole in the uh, desk, Jimmy, will always remind you of the pain. Yeah, hundred percent. Every time I come hole. in here, every time I come in here to pay my freaking bills, <laughs> my blood look and sweat. Yeah, I can look at my confession hole in the desk and say, you know, <laughs> I, I can remember what I said, and what happened, you know, right exactly. to, the, to the, you know. Oh, that, that's say my confession a, hole. No, you can't touch it. They, uh, they, that's they, that's you the know, special that's, name us priests call it a confession. <laughs> You know, that's what we need in life. We need a, a something dramatic to happen so we can relate to the dramatic moment. So yes. we'll always remember that moment. Because if you think back when you was a kid, when yeah. something happened, like if your uncle threw you over the bench and pumped you in the, in the cornhole, you'll never forget that moment. Because no, it sort of stays with you. And, 
And you know what? It, it, the weirdest things happen when you're leaning over the park bench and your uncle oh, yeah. doing your cornhole. <laughs> there could your be pot. a little daisy flower there, right? Oh, yeah. oh man. So just picture this. There's a little daisy you with know, a on the other on it. side with of the bench. On it, taking with the a bee on it. With a on it. And you're getting pounded in the cornhole yeah. over the bench in the park by your uncle. Yeah. And you'll oh, never forget God. that Always little... Always goes back to a, a yeah. bad <laughs> uncle. That, that happened to me, Jimmy. <laughs> that happened to me a while I was getting hit in the cornhole. I'm watching this bee thinking... I'm I'm having like my inner life sucked from me. But yet this bee is taking the pollen to make honey to produce food to live on to live on. So right. I I had to. Yeah. It's like I had to be the bee. I had to take my right. inner soul yes. and be this bee. I had to put myself exactly. in the bee's body while I was getting punched in the cornhole and just watch <laughs> this bee pollinate the flowers as I was getting pollinated from behind <laughs> over the butt. Well, this is this is my point, Lee. So it's, like, it's punch- like your uncle <laughs> is the bee. Your uncle is the bee. Look at Tyler. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> Well, well, look that, at me. My my point is my whole point is that people have to like a song might remind you of something yeah. in the past, you know. So when you're looking at that little daisy flower and you're leaning over the park bench in the middle of the night and your uncle's pounding you and you never forget that flower, no. like everything or else, you, you know, you or, or, or if you get honey, sometimes when people bring the honey out, <laughs> the honey makes me think straight away. <laughs> so Jesus. the point is. You know, people like to filter bad stuff out in their life. They their mind yeah. erases it, but for some reason, that little flower will stay there. You know, because yeah. you'll you'll erase the other part. You know, with your drunk. Mm-hmm. So this is what I'm just saying. I'm just trying you to just you know put stuff in perspective. You know, so mm-hmm. while we're, while we're on the show, I want to also apologize to the fans. You know, we are going to continue. Yes. And uh, we did a little, you know, we did a little R&R. Well, well, you know. well, if we're going to be specific, Tyra and I, we're not sure how long you're going to be around for, but Tyra well, and I. That's true. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, maybe when you guys do the show, you can put my, an 8 by 10 of me uh, somewhere I will. behind you. Yeah. Actually, well, oh, I'm going to get a really cardboard nice. cutout yeah. like the Pope. I'll get a cardboard cutout of Jim. Uh, that'd be, that'd great. be great. I miss the Pope. Where is he? Yeah. Oh shit, he's here. I'll let you yeah, we don't want to ruin the surprise. Surprise. Is. So anyway, I, I want to he's say he's looking you right know, at you. He's looking at the back of your head. He wishes a oh, man. Oh been, man. We, me, Lee, myself, and Tyler, we've been traveling. That's why we haven't been doing the show. It's true. So we're well, speaking of that. We've been very busy. We're doing the Lord's oh. work. We're traveling. We're spreading the word. And uh we're back. And uh, hopefully, we Jimmy, Jimmy, and Tyler are like ascending people to heaven, and I'm dragging them to hell. <laughs> well, uh-huh. speaking of, of the trip, the, the traveling, where we were all hanging out, and this vest. Well, hey, I tell you, that um, you know, that tour I saw of Alabama with that professional yeah, tour guide. I'm, I'm gonna cut up these. He's good. I don't know who he was, but he's pretty them. good. I'm Makes me want to go there. I think. I think. What are you doing, Jimmy? I'm gonna cut these ashes up and snort them. I think I think that'll yes. that'll add to the power no, of the prayer. Don't do that. Put, put them, snort paper. Put the, put the paper. ashes in your wine and drink it, Jimmy. With the yeah, blood. that's a little better. Good idea. That's better. That's more let me, religious. Let me do that. Hold on. Put a bit in your any religious ceremonies with snorting. Because the wine is the blood of Christ. You can wash your ashes away with the blood of Christ. There you go. Down it, Jimmy. Azalut yeah. to your health. Down the sorrows. Azalut. Drink it, Jimmy. Drink your ashes. How was it? Has my knife a wood taste? You no, know, it gave it. A, it gave it a little. Uh, like you know, when you smoke beef in a in a, in a yeah. It just, it kind of, it gave, it <laughs> gave it a little peaty, a peaty. Yeah, it gave it a little smoked barbecue taste. A little peaty. Actually, pretty good. Actually, pretty but does it feel good? Does it feel good? Devouring. Those inner thoughts into your body. It does. It does, Lee. It's uh, something about drinking the ashes of my wine. It's like drinking the blood of your it, 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 it empowered me, you know, yeah. and it, it gave me power over my uh, my uh, my my enemies. It might just be the wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that vest reminded me. There's, we have some apparently, I, to my knowledge, not well, before seen footage. They, hey, Tyler, what? Dave's not going to watch this, is he? <laughs> Oh, very well. Of course he is. I mean, if it actually airs. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, to, sure. It's, it's going to air. We're not cursing. We're being, we're behaving. We're not, we are not even cursing. I don't think yet. No. no, no. Lee probably no. did. On no, YouTube. Lee didn't yeah. say anything. The James Webb, Jimmy would like to know this, the James Webb telescope 
yeah, cap please, tell me. Capture City, seven trillion miles away. Sydney? Wow. City, a city, seven trillion miles oh. away. What Wait, are you what talking city? about? What, what, what city is this? I don't know, but it's seven trillion miles away in the James Webb telescope. It says get it. I'm not following you. So the James Webb telescope has captured cap a, some city other than Earth? You mean city? Seven, well, it must be at seven trillion light years away. <laughs> the oh. USA Today top search says no NASA discovery of city lights on distant planet. It was a false. You guys, man, between the Eskimo, like... <laughs> <laughs> running off their fucking dead. <laughs> All this needs how to be dare you. How dare you question the word of the Lord? <laughs> question. Men of the cloth, Tyler. It's not nice. Well, he, he's a man of the don't cloth, Don't you too. dare. When we, you, his... when we give a... you facts to life, don't you well, fucking Google it. And you're, <laughs> going to, you're trusting Google over God. You're <laughs> trusting Facebook articles. Oh, but, <laughs> no, from God, though. That, Godly that, Facebook that articles. That story came to me from divine intervention, mate. Divine intervention. Listen, Lee. I was just sitting here. It's it just Tyler, like golden Tyler's light hits your here. screen and it just pops up in between the articles. It did. Tyler, if wow. you keep fact checking us, it's not going to be a fun show. I, want, I, don't know. Uh, I know. I don't. I don't normally. You're right. I'll stop. I guess yeah, I tried please. to be a journalist. Yeah, Sorry. we have to. You know, we have to have some fun. You have to be able to lie. Yeah. You know, fact check on everything we do. I mean, Christ. You put everything under a microscope. Nothing's going to work. Exactly. exactly. What is this? The Biden Trump nothing. debate? You got to. Oh God, no! That was cringy. This will be a little less, a little oh, more, a little more fun. All right. I think the whole thing's staged, but. That's just my opinion. It's all it's a bunch of bullshit, isn't it? I think so because no, I'm 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 just so know, surprised that the Democrats and some of these people are like, I can't believe I'm I'm upset that the White House hid his condition from us. I'm like, hid it? It's been out there for how long? Have you been <laughs> like, oh. Jeez. And, and right, wait a well, minute, that's his own party, so come on, they didn't know. Come, give, give does me this look familiar? Oh, yes, it does. There's that, right. there's that, that was my favorite store guy. in Alabama. I tell you, that was that was a fun store. We had a lot of fun in that store, man. There's <laughs> that guy there. Look at that. I, I think the owner of the store was getting a little upset with us, but and uh, once uh, once things were purchased, I think it all worked out. Anyways, for the for the for the confessional faithfuls, this is some never before seen footage from our Alabama trip, and yeah, feel free to commentate as it's played. No. No. Oh, look at that one. There's Jimmy. Oh, thank you everyone for coming tonight. You look like a window shade. You look like a window shade. You look like a lamp shade. He said. I like that one. I like the other one. Abe's always naked. He's always naked. Yeah, I don't like Look at that. He should have gotten that one. John should have bought that too. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Sid. Sid. Well, that's a hell of a thing. That looks it great. It looks like he's got to hop on a main. <laughs> I have to say. Holy it looks good, dude. It, it looks good. Well, it should because it looks good. <laughs> there I see. It, look, it, it looks like Sid Vance. Yeah. I love it. I, I, I saw it. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, where's the oh, you should have bought that. Why are we all doing this individually? One way ticket, bitch. I'm off for the wrong way. Uh huh. Yeah. There you go. I missed my call. It should have been a state trooper. That looked excellent. Yeah, yeah. man. Look how oh, I well. just took that vest from the video and I put it on. Right? It's yeah. Full circle. I don't vest, remember saying that. I, I, I don't remember saying, should I go with the blue one? I totally forgot about that. Yeah? Yeah. The beauty of behind-the-scenes documentary work, huh? Wow. I'm glad I did. It looks great on Lee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
I'll was... send it to you. I'll send it to you before you wait, Jimmy. I want your well dressed. Actually, you yeah, wear because... that for the. I I'm gonna, I want to wear that in the box. That's in the I box. Wear. Yeah, I want to wear that in a box. Yeah, I would. Uh, and, and I want to put Because I've had it on now. Because I've had it on. If you put lot in the box, it's like a piece of me would be going with you, Jimmy. Absolutely, oh, wow. absolutely. And I want to oh, wear this really shirt. Beautiful. I want to wear this underneath the vest too, with the priest. Yeah. You know, I want to go out in style. You know what I mean? And then they'll yeah. dig you up in like a hundred years, two hundred years, and they'll be like, "This was a famous priest, a man of the god." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know uh, what I'll look like in 200 years, but we can give it a shot. As long you as know? the uniform's still there, I'll be wondering, who was this religious man? Yeah, probably just the uniform will be there. The rest of me will be yeah. just... <laughs> just be like bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, man. What's that? <laughs> so well, anyway... If they and they dig him up, they'll be like, think they found Cro-Magnum Man again with the head and feet and that. <laughs> And were they going to call uh, Lucy? Uh, they found they found, Are they going to call <laughs> Lucy? <laughs> they, they're going to call him Lucy when they find him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they made a movie like that late, didn't they? Yeah, Somebody they did. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Dave, Dave now, now, that he's on the, now that he's on the list again of single men, he's actually in Mexico with Armand having a little romantic twist. Yeah. <laughs> I can I I I I I never pictured that. I never I don't yeah. I never pictured it. Sometimes uh, the things that are closest to you, Jimmy, you don't see coming. I didn't see it coming, man. No, they they actually they both actually see it coming right now, but Yeah, yeah. I I really I know I I didn't think that they was that close with uh with Armand. I didn't you know, I know he comes on the show and everything, but yeah, I didn't yeah. think he was gonna go on a vacation with the guy. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh vacation slash honeymoon, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, <laughs> getting to was, know, getting to know each other, getting to know each other, Jimmy. <laughs> so I saw he he put something on Instagram that he was in. Was it New Mexico or Mexico? Mexico. All right. So I saw the video, the short video of him at a steakhouse, mm -hmm. and but he he didn't really show who he was with at the steakhouse. Uh huh. See, keeping a bit private on the down low. So how do you know it was Armand then? If, if, if really he didn't really mention he didn't really because, mention Armand. Because they said it on the show you were on that they were going to Mexico together. You're oh. probably still hurt by the talk of your demise that you didn't take it in. But yes, they're in Mexico. They say they're getting stem cells implanted. If that's what you want to call giving each swap and jizz, that's what you can call it. You know, I guess <laughs> it, <laughs> if you want to call it something like that. <laughs> Some people want to be technical and say. We're getting, yeah, you know, stem cells put so in. So what you're saying is that they're <laughs> it's just each other's DNA. <laughs> you know. So what you're saying is the stem cell kind of lightens up the uh, the moment. It's that's the. Uh, it's well, yeah, make sure light, make sure light in the loafers. It's not as hardcore. <laughs> light yeah, in the loafers. Yeah. I've heard that in a minute. <laughs> it makes you light in the loafers. <laughs> and don't we all want to be? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we wish. Uh, no, well, we well, love like this. We, 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 we got to hey. break his shoes a little bit. He, he told me I was going to die Tuesday. Hey, look, look, <laughs> I know look. that's clearly that's been a very sticking point. Look, in the look on the positive side here. Look, none of them can get pregnant, so there's no more kids going to happen. They're both in the training. They both dabble in the special supplements. So I think you know they got more in common than they have not in common. So I think you know that this relationship could actually make it. That's a very good uh, outlook on it. Yeah. I think so. And they both, the deserve, right, they, the both right deserve to, they both deserve to be happy, so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's got all the right components. That's, mm. uh, yeah. Corn got the right components. And, and, right. You know, uh, corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They, you know Dave's, Dave's going gonna, gonna, gonna to kill us. He's gonna kill us there. He knows we're kidding with him anyway. I, you know, we, we I, love. I, 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 he knows you're just Josh. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> I, I love uh, Dave to death, even though he, he had me dead the other day. I still love him to death, even though you know, yeah. you, know, I, I, you know, which might be sooner than later. Yeah, yeah it might be sooner than later. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, look, as long as he's at my wake, I'm I'm good. You know, 
I want them there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're I'm gonna, gonna wear. Pay. I'm gonna. I have an old. I have an old ring, a big old Godfather oh. ring. I'm gonna wear uh -huh. it. I'm gonna wear it in the casket because when I'm laying there with my hands crossed with my big ring on, I I, I have one request for Dave. I want him to lean over and kiss my ring <laughs> in front of the entire funeral parlor. <laughs> and that'll that'll make my day because then you know that that's the total respect that he's sending me off with love you know so that's your uh, what's that yeah. list you can like legally make people do your bereavements or whatever what is it is that uh, it yeah it, it 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 completes the uh the 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 the, the, good, <laughs> the love triangle you know what i mean kiss the ring you know like to do with the godfather you know with the yeah, godfather yeah, yeah. You know, you can see when they come in the office to visit the golfer, he's standing there. Mm -hmm. They kneel down, they kiss his ring. That's 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 what I want. I want the I want to be saying, I'm all the time, and he he's always called me an all the time. So let's let's do the ring thing, Tyler. All right, <laughs> all right. Don't well, forget, lay, lay, well, lay face on. down with your ass up and really have him kiss the ring. <laughs> well, I was going to suggest that after you bury me. If you could bury me with my ass sticking out of the dirt, I think that would be <laughs> very apropos. And I'd like to do it like by a school or something, so the kids could park their bicycles, you know, in your butt front... cheeks. Yeah, yeah, the front wheel goes right in, right in the front. <laughs> <laughs> That's a single bicycle, you know, yeah, bike rack. Exactly right. That's where they, you know, if they're late for school or the class, they could just run up there, park the, stick the bike in the in the, uh, in, the in the crack, and head over to the classroom. Yeah. Do, it, do, it by, last, do it by like, a Catholic church. church. That way you'll always get some action. Well, I could do that too. Yeah, I could be buried by the <laughs> Catholic church right, right, right on the side of the building. That'd be nice. Yeah, and the know? priests, when they needed a little fix, they'll come out and uh, 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 give it Jimmy one or not. Yeah, why not? I, that's, that's, yeah. Another, that's another thought. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to jot that down in my book. I'm gonna, jot it down. I like that idea. Yeah. I did, I'll I was... burn that later. God. Bury me with my ass up. I like there that. There you go. Okay, I got it. It's written. Let it be done. Huh. So, Tyler. Yeah. I heard we uh, someone wrote in a confession. Uh, is it as a matter, one? Yeah, is as it a matter of fact. We, we, and on that note, <laughs> the banner's running. We, the confessional, we'll be honest, needs, we don't need donations. We certainly, we certainly don't need tips. We need... <laughs> Why? Wait, wait, hold on. We, we're getting donations? No. Well, the church needs donations. Oh. The Church of Arcs Muscle, which is the confession booth. Yes. Right. It doesn't need – it needs donations in the form of confessions. Right, right. And, oh, man. It, it doesn't have to be, like, anything. It can be anything. You can confess that you, like, hate your job and uh, here here's about that. I confess that this is blah, 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 or, like, I'm fucking weird and here's why for this reason. Yeah, you know? yeah. Confess well, whatever. You know, it's totally I mean, anonymous. Don't get too scared. You know, I I have a confession. All uh, right. I, I was, Here we I go. Was, uh, I was late and running out of the house at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I mm -hmm. sat down to take a poop in the bathroom, and I was <laughs> in a hurry. And uh, uh, I'm sure this happened to many people. You know, you did one wipe, you know, and you throw it in the bowl behind you. Oh, no. And you got the uh, sazol on your hand, you know what I mean? Then you oh, go to no. the toilet you paper. And, and, you, and you got it on the toilet. Now, now it's all over the toilet paper. And now you're getting it on the leg. And it's, it's all over yeah. the place. And, uh, you weren't fiberizing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I confess to that. How about that? <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> That was like terrible, wasn't it? It was, yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Well, well, on that note, I guess we can get to our one. It's, we do have, we have a confession. We have a, we have one, one gentleman in the confession booth with huh. quite the lengthy confession. So nice. We're really gonna, we're gonna delve into this one, shall we? Are you? Please both? stop watching TV. Come on, let's go. Who's watching TV? You watching hey, TV? Lee's, Lee's watching. He's watching the news. Oh my God! I'm watching. I'm watching. That's the confession. He's watching you Superman. Watch Superman? Well, just some of the footage of the new Superman movie they're making. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> Piracy confession. <laughs> that's a confession right there. Yeah, that's a real confession. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. <laughs> Dear Tyler, Jimmy, and Lee. Oh, hi. Hello. I've been watching your shows for a few months now. I decided I need to share my confession. Oh. All right. Fantastic. I just turned 65. Well, right. 65? Yeah, yeah. 
this might be our oldest, uh, our, our eldest confessor. Oh, yeah, to my knowledge, Ooh. which is cool. Married for 43 years. That's wow. older than I am. Ooh. Have two kids who are now grown up, moved out, and have owned my own construction company for 17 years. Dude, you know, he's been doing the thing. Mm -hmm. nice. I work in my office building, mainly working out deals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, stuff about his work. I have 28 office staff, 100 construction workers around the state. Mm -hmm. Stuff about the office, two floors, staff on the first floor, second floor, wow. small bathroom, kitchen. Also, my secretary has her desk in my office. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> my secretary of 11 years recently retired, so I needed a replacement. We interviewed uh -oh. quite a few people, but... Oh, classic. A cute, blue-eyed, blonde, 23-year-old woman, he says woman, stood out to me. Admittedly, she wasn't the most qualified. Oh, you're kidding, but you still hired her? <laughs> but I thought this time when I hire I want some eye candy. DEI, DEI. <laughs> he hired her for eye candy, he admits. Nice. Why he enjoys his last few years in the office. How many men do this, huh? Yeah. She has this cute girl next door look to her like an American Pie sweetheart. She started the job and she picked things up quickly. She's very beautiful. I'd subtly watch her all the time. <laughs> I know she wouldn't be interested in me as I'm basically an old man compared to her. About a month ago, though, <coughs> after eight months of her working, she asked if there is an opportunity for her to move to a higher, more well-paying position, wink, wink. Yeah. I told her maybe in the future, but there's nothing right now. She then said she'll do anything for higher oh. pay. Oh. Oh, oh my word! This really happens? Still? Wait, wait. She said she'll do anything for higher pay? Higher pay. She's she's now, I guess, according to him, she is blatantly offering, you know, a little oh. extra. A for sacrifice. A little extra. Right. Yeah. yeah. The sacrificial and lamb. He was nervous because she's so beautiful. Oh, I can't lose her. All I could say was, <laughs> what do you mean by that? She locked my office door. And, you know, I have a confession. Sometimes when girls are, if you're actually attracted to a girl, you can like be a little bit goobery. All right. So I, I didn't, I, I can't laugh at that. She locked my office door, then came over to me and unzipped my pants. Started, started S and the D. Wasn't yeah. even hard yet. Uh, but he did, of course, arrive to the occasion while the uh, cannoli stocking was happening. And it happened about <laughs> 10 minutes until the cannoli unloaded. <laughs> Which is a fun way to put it. And I'm going to yeah, say yeah, that more I like that. I like that. The cannoli unloaded. She opened uh, to show off the cannoli load. And then swallow. Jesus. Uh, told her if you keep, I, and then of Perfect. course he did the cliche. If you keep performing like that, I might have to give you higher pay. And they both laughed. This wow. this reads like a really bad man written novel, like smut novel. Wow. After that, she kept asking me every day if she could perform any extra duties. Wow, Dude, this is crazy. Then she started getting more freaky. And told me to <laughs> told me to shave my bee hole, yeah. which I'd never done before. So the next day she could, I think you know what. A little wow. cannoli tossing. Well, a little. Oh no, Jimmy, come on! It's just this is the confession. We need you here. Let's get a call. I'm cutting They're the music. Taken out. They've taken Jimmy out. Where's yeah. our connection? Yeah, oh, there's the phone. Oh, great, the wires. Finally, I know it's getting a little chilly in here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, but we've descended to hell since you've left. Oh my God! <laughs> I feel the heat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why do I have a Why do I have a play button in the middle of my screen? I don't know. Okay, Very I got rid of it. Very I got tough. rid of it. Wow, I'm All actually right. getting hot, man. Jeez. Yeah, I know. That's why we got the fire. Okay, where are we going? I know, it reads like a bad porno. It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, uh, you know, getting excited just listening to the story. You the know? fact that she yeah. told him to prep, like, I need you to shave down there because I'm gonna be going doing some crazy things. I mean, what? I guess you would absolutely want there not to be. Butt, butt hair. <laughs> Dingle, dingleberries. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. So back well, to he, he's got to write back. He's got to tell us if he actually shaved it, and uh, you know and, he and did. Continue. The he next did. day she could spread but my <laughs> cheeks. The next day she could spread my cheeks, and she could. I never had this done to me before from my wife, and she said all the young people these days are doing it. 
Wait, wait, wait what, 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 what did she do? Get, go back it up. It's an RJ, uh, you know. RJ. I don't, I guess, you know, like, like, okay. Like, cheeks open, tongue involved. I think oh. you can go from there. Oh, like the rusty tr trombone. I the know. rusty trombone, thank you. Okay, all right. She wanted to rusty. She's like, go ahead and clean up. That I, I'm gonna get that rusty trombone tooting tomorrow. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. I know. That's okay, so she said she could. She told him all the young kids are doing it. I said this is some uh -huh. new thing, right? You guys can <laughs> attest that it's it, not it's on confession, isn't it? My God, <laughs> it is. Okay, I'd never done it before, but I enjoyed it and it was sexy. I had only been with one other woman before. Oh. Uh, blah blah blah. So this is my third woman I've been with. Okay, so this guy, oh, he's like the traditional, like he's only had one woman then his wife. So this is extra crazy for this guy to be experiencing. It's crazy. Like this is our first Jimmy. You're killing us, man. This is our first. I'll say while we're getting him back. This is the first guy that is having some clear cheating thing going on. Oh, but he's also given us context. Go. Like this isn't like a playboy. Uh, this is a different perspective. Oh, Jimmy, man. Okay, there you are. All right. So he enjoyed it. It was sexy. I started getting new ideas of what I can get her to do. I told her a few of my buddies that work for me are around my age. And Nobody also calls me them. all afternoon. I what? get on the show and they call me. I'm so pissed off right now. All right, Jimmy, it's getting I'm crazy. i get out and come back in. Son of a bitch. This is actually a better one than I thought. Oh, my God, dude. Destroy the show. Carry on. I'm here. The devil is with you. We can't, he can't use his phone for this. Or he's got to like turn on like I don't know. We got like airplane and yeah, just watch. Put on like do not disturb, can he or something? Yeah, do not disturb would help because then it at least would you know not interrupt with the person. Mm. They have to call him twice, real persistent. Like we get, we can't continue without him. I'm sorry because this next paragraph, I'm like, wow, I didn't, I didn't pre-read this part. Oh my god. He's logging back in. There he is. All right, we got him. All right, it's unbelievable. you know, nobody calls me. <laughs> I, I get on the show, and I and I and I, and I get all these, I get all these weird phone calls. That's okay, the devil, that's the devil trying ah, to I'm back. interrupt. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, it really so pisses me off for me. You know what I mean? He got the rust. What's what's recap? He's got the rusty trombone for the first time in his life. Only the third person he's ever slept with. Oh. Uh, and he's cheated on his wife, a uh, 65 year old dude, construction company, yeah, yeah. Okay. And all this because she wants more pay. She is ready to this. Uh, he's got stop. a construction company. He's been married for 43 years and he yeah. could lose it all. He could lose it all over this young blonde. No guy. kidding, man. I mean, she's been assertive if, if it sounds like from Just what he's saying is true. How, how Anyways. Silly humans are, how humans will think with their little brain and have a good life, a good job, money coming in, a nice wife who stood beside him all these years, and he sees this new blonde thing with blue eyes, and he thinks... Hang on, Lee. We got more. Hold, hold off your lap. Hold your lap. Hold a little, a little longer. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I started getting new ideas of what I can get her to do. We got to go back to Alabama, man. <laughs> yeah. Why couldn't, why couldn't he get his wife to do this? That's the question. I started getting, I know, right? Like, they're just going to be more inventive. But I guess he probably wasn't complaining. But this really, like, you know, you got this young thing. Anyways, I started getting new ideas. Now he's going crazy. He's, he's oh. taking a leap. I got new ideas of what I can do with her. Told a few of my buddies that work for me. He's now telling employees that work under him sh that uh, around my age. Also showed them some of the videos I recorded. It turns out he's recording videos of them. With Big my mistake. mobile phone of her Big going out on me in my office. Oh. They said she was a very naughty whore. Ha <laughs> I Big that just took a turn. It's like, okay, now you're like a guy that's like, I can maybe begin to relate with your scenario. And it's like now you're like you're loving it. You're okay. I then wanted to really show her, her who was the boss. And I uh, peed uh, mouth, which she was up for as well. Now we got pee in mouth. Now we got the yellow flag being uh, being flown. Then I took a what poop. Do you mean we got a, what do we? What do we? We got a yellow flag. He was peeing in her mouth, Jimmy. 
Oh my God, man. And then, you know, and then guess what? You know, you know he guess what he puts on her hair? She's going to show him who's boss soon. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. You're not, especially if he's like, okay. I need wow. another glass of wine for that one, man. That, that, that was unbelievable. It's still well, going, Jim. It's still going. <laughs> This is some confession. She had to wash <laughs> it out of her hair in my office bathroom. Oh. oh my god! My god! How fucking degraded did this get? But not to her. So now me and my buddies at the office call her poopy head. But not to her, of course. I just keep things professional with all my staff. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> professional. Now the thing is, though, those guys you show to her on his stuff, they could be like blackmail. Like, say his name's John. John. I need yeah. a pay rise or I'm Yeah, listen. Oh, oh are you, how about I tell your wife, who's a nice what, woman, about how you yeah. poop on a... What, what's cheaper? What's cheaper, a thousand a month or losing half the company? Oh, man. Depending on what she does to me during the week, I'll throw her a bonus couple hundred bucks each week. I have my own <laughs> personal little pooer. Oh, 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 oh. I'm starting to get a bit paranoid, though, that she'll tell someone or I'll get caught. Do you really? know? He's, 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 tell, he's telling everybody what's he worried yeah, about. Right, exactly. He's showing them videos, man. What is he talking about? That's crazy. crazy. That, like, it's like, I get it. Like, the, the male testosterone wants to brag, right? Uh, but still. He, and, and then his mates, his mates will go to the bar without him. They'll be drinking and they'll be sound telling their friends, hey, you know, John, my boss, you know what he's doing to that little blonde girl? He showed us videos, and then they'll tell people. Then the boss of the company pooped on her head, and he's and he's, and he's telling yeah. people about that. Yeah. Guess, how, guess what said, rumors I thought, I thought like to start when it's juicy. Uh, Tyler, I thought pooping. you said he urinated in her mouth. He pooped on her head. Yeah, he did both, Jimmy. Pooped on her head. One yeah. precedent to the other. It's where the, it's where the term shithead comes from, Jimmy. <laughs> I've heard of okay. I've heard in, in my college days. I knew a guy that. I mean, I certainly wouldn't call a friend, but knew a guy. Jimmy, Jimmy, I hear a confession coming out here. Tyler knew a guy. Oh, it does sound very cover up, doesn't it? All right, yeah. Come on. I know the dump on a chest is a thing, but I've never heard the head like straight up. I never heard that either. Like the top of the head. You know, when I was when I was a young man, I used to watch Asian uh, porno, and they used to fling feces around all the time and like throw up and stuff. Yeah, they were. (laughs) They were notorious for that. I don't know what it was with the Chinese people, but uh, yeah, the Japanese uh, get get kind of weird, I guess. You know, you know we're, like we're uh, I, different I, I, I've watched video. I, I didn't really want to watch it, but I've watched videos Australians get fucking freaky. What? They do uh, wear straight lace, buddy. Oh, you're straight lace. You don't do anything <laughs> weird or out of the ordinary. As pure as the winter-driven snow. I've seen the Australian porn hub. It gets pretty wacky. <laughs> I, I never, I never had the experience of watching Australian porn. It doesn't mean it's wacky. Well, you, get, you, and you gave us Angela White. She's like one of the best, greatest porn stars of our time, modern era. Well, you're welcome. That, like, we gave her to you. <laughs> <laughs> like when I say we, I mean the world. You know, you gave the greater world Angela well, White. We're, we are giving people. <laughs> As a country, you know. What's her, what's her name, Tyler? Angela <laughs> White. Okay, I got to look it you up. never heard? No. She's a, <laughs> you know. She's a very, uh, she's, robust, she's got that bodacious woman. figure, yeah. but she's natural. Yeah. So, uh, and she and she has got the Australian accent, brunette hair. She's fantastic. Like she's fantastic. Yeah. She'd be like, "Good day, Jimmy. You want me to suck your?" <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Crikey, I gotta be. I gotta. I gotta confess. Crikey, I, I used to go to the. Um, it's oh, bigger yeah. than a dango. Did, did you ever hear of? Um, That's the, not a the, cock. This is a cock. <laughs> oh. and she whips Cro- it out. Crocodile Dundee, right? Um, I I used to go to the Renaissance Fair, you know. Oh, oh man, I haven't up been to one in so long. Up in the, the Sterling Forest, and yeah, the turkey legs. And I got to be you honest. Go, did you go dressed as a knight, Jimmy? No, I didn't. But th- this year I want to go and I want to dress up. So yes. the cool thing is when you're walking around this park and everyone's yeah. in that theme. You know, of the uh, uh, the medieval, you know, oh. century. Whatever. Are you gonna start raping and pillaging, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what like I, what I, you know, I sand hourglasses. What's yeah. cool about it is, you know, I went and I ordered a beer, and they give you this big, you know, yes, you know, the Stein. Did you say? Yeah. Did you say, wench, pour my beer? Well, I'm gonna <laughs> do that when I go back up there. So what happened is now, 
you go up to the bar, it's like an outdoor bar, and you order the, you know, the pint of yeah. beer, what, like what, like Tyler just uh, said, and it's then you nice. get a turkey. You actually get a turkey leg. You yeah. Know, like yes. A, you know, and, and oh my and, god, I can eat one the, of those right now. Yeah, yeah, you grab it by the bone. You're walking around the park yeah. with this leg. Oh. You're just ripping yeah. the turkey. And you're, very, very like I, a primal I, feeling, I, isn't it? It is. It's I a love good it. primal feeling. It's a safe. Well, the, the best part is when I go up to the bar, and this this woman is there with these big breasts, you know, sticking oh. out of her shirt, you know, and she says, God. Uh, "May I, can I help you, my lord? And I'm like, my lord. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's Jesus. heaven. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. That's just great. Yeah. I said, yeah. You can absolutely. help yourself to a fantastic tip. How can I show you, my so lord? Much. I said, I would like a a, a yard of beer and a, and a turkey leg, you know? You went. I, yeah. <laughs> you wench. You could have it. You could go about different ways. Did you, club her, did you club her on the head with the turkey leg and rape and pillage her? Uh, no, I didn't get to that my, part. But my I, lady, you know, I, I, a I, fine I, day to be and say some bullshit. You have to have some lines rehearsed in medieval, I guess. I gotta go back up there. I love that. Place. You got you got to rape her, pill, pillage the village, and then um, burn the kids. And then, burn and the they, then they have months. like these. They, they have, have these, the You know, in the Renaissance fair, they have these witches. They're in these like. Um, yeah. Uh, they're, they're in like a Wiccan hut that's all yeah. sticks. Oh my god! Like, you know, right? It's and yeah, like you know what I mean. Like they put all you these. Could, you could together. probably get your curse taken off you there, Jimmy. My who? <laughs> you know the curse that that person. That's put what on I was you. thinking. Later. That's why I'm gonna go back up there. I'm gonna go back up there to do it. So when what happened is now Have you walk it out this, <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> so they got these these uh, these these sticks like it's a hut like and it's dark yeah. in there and you go yeah. and you duck down and you go in the hole, you know. You, <laughs> you, 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 you I've never experienced there. this at a medieval fair. You never did. No. Oh. You're going to the wrong ones, Tyler. Well, I was gonna say the ones I've gone to did have women mud fighting, and that was pretty amazing. I never saw that before. That blew I, my ten year old mind. I did that at a nightclub years ago. I did that. I told that story on him. <laughs> The mud With wrestling women? was big back in the uh, the not early nineties and stuff. It was pretty uh, like you were just mud fighting dudes, or was like women mud fighting? No, women. They would they were mud they were mud fighting sliding around. You got around. to fight I, with them. No, what happened was uh, I was bouncing at a club and uh, they had mud wrestling that night, and uh, all the chicks were mud wrestling, and a lot of them are uh, you know bisexual and stuff, you know. Sure. And uh, I ended up, you know, I was like I said, I bounced there for years. It was the, the club was called UFOs. Never forget it. <laughs> and cool. uh, I ended up going home with two of the two of the mud wrestling girls. They took were me they home, covered right? in mud? Well, of course they were covered in mud. Well, uh, they 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 did wash off a little bit, but I, I oh, distinctly okay. remember when I went into the house, you know, and as mm -hmm. I was going down the hallway and I was looking in this room and looking in that room, I seen all these women in bed together sleeping. They were passed out. It was late at night, you know. And I said, I'm looking at myself. I said, this is like a house of lesbians over here. Like, it's <laughs> all, you know. So anyway, I, I awesome. ended up going into the room with the two girls. You know, they took yeah. me into the room. And uh, naturally, I was with them, and we made passionate love and all that. Oh, that's stuff. so that awesome! Cool. And then passionate when I love. when I got up in the morning, a little jealous. I had to take a you know pashado. I went in the bedroom, and uh, I, when I took my shazole out, you know, I wasn't looking at it. You know, I'm you know early in the morning. I got a hangover. <laughs> Lee, my 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 urine went like five different directions, right? Oh no! Oh, no. And I'm looking. I was hitting the wall. Was hitting the toilet <laughs> paper, and I'm like, what the hell? And it's I'm like, looking it's like down one of those was, showers in the hotel where you can turn the head and get the yeah, different. Right. It <laughs> yeah. was shooting all over the place. You're on, you're on, you're on massage. It went everywhere on. but in the toilet, right? It was shooting all over the place. I'm oh, like, what the hell? hell? I'm looking down and I'm like, I shows all this packed with mud, man. I guess, <laughs> I, was, I guess it got up inside her when she was doing the mud wrestling and she never really cleaned it out. It, whatever, wasn't, so. it wasn't fresh mud from the back door, was it, Jimmy? Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. It wasn't that kind of mud. It was the, the from question. The, Only from we the, would think. <laughs> well, it was from thinking, the mud, yeah. I was just thinking the corn kernel was making the pea go different. So then I, 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 I'll never forget. So after I, I, I urinated and, you know, my yeah. pee was going everywhere, I said, you know, I went back into the room and I noticed that her bedroom door was split in half and pushed in like kind of like so it looked like the door was like almost like in a v shape yeah. you know like cracked you know so i didn't realize that that night when i when i went there that night because i was bombed you know what i mean so and she opened the door i walked in so i didn't even anyway i said uh yo what's with the door she goes oh it's my boyfriend i said that's your boyfriend what do you oh. mean that's your boyfriend she goes, yeah, he was here the other night, and he thought I was cheating on him, and he's a black belt in karate, and he, he kicked the door what? in, you know. 
I said, really? I said, uh, you know what? I'm going to get dressed. I said, I think I'm going to go yeah, now. I'm it's go, getting late. <laughs> it's getting, I said, it's getting late now. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> when I saw that door, I was like, I, I'm out of here. I want nothing to do with Jeez. this place. Anyway. Yeah, it was bad, yeah. Yeah, I, I, so oh, I, I, you know, I had a lot of experience bouncing. Like no, one time, the coat check girl, never forget her. Cute as that's what you girl. don't want to hear after you spoke to someone. Oh, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. And the door was busted in. Like the guy was a martial artist. He, I don't know what he did. He front snap kicked the door or whatever. So I actually told this other story on, 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 uh, after us too. So I, I, I started hanging out with like the coat check girl. I was at the club bouncing and I used to work the door and I used to do the clicker, you know, everybody, you know, I mean, collect the money and, you know, and this girl was working the coat check. But anyway, I ended up I ended up hanging out with her that night. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So Hanging she out. took me she took me back to her house, which was her parents' house. You know, nope. sneaking in there at four in the morning. You know, and I I didn't feel comfortable about it, but I was like, you know, I said, listen, man, you see your parents. She goes, don't worry, come on. She snuck me upstairs, right? Uh-huh. And we go into her bedroom, and it was dark as hell, right? And she unzips my pants and she grabbed my my my, my shazala mm-hmm. and she was holding it and she was like walking to the bed holding wow. my shazala That's like hot. this as she as she <laughs> so anyway I was with you know I was with her naturally and uh, the <laughs> next day or so I started feeling like itchy in my uh, you know oh, that time I had I had, mm-hmm. I had penis hair at the time you know so anyway so. <laughs> I'm scratching and I'm itching. I said, what the hell? And I had a girlfriend at the time. Was I feel very bad about this. But so I ended up, I had cramps. So I had, I had yeah. to go to the doctor and get like this cream and stuff, you know. And oh. I, couldn't, I couldn't get rid of the cramps. So I ended up, you know, I was with my girlfriend. I, I was very bad when I was young. I have to confess. This is a, a very, very heavy confession. That was very bad. Yeah. And uh, my girlfriend, we, we, you know, we went out the next week or whatever. And. <clears throat> She was, you know, and we were in her bedroom. She was on her knees, and she was, you know, shining the the, the pipe. And all of a sudden, I seen a crab like crawling on her cheek. Oh God, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, and I was like, I said, "Yo," I said, "You get, don't move." I said, "You gotta, there's something on you, <laughs> something on your face." She's like, "Well, what is it?" It's, it's a crab. I gotta get. I took, I took a tissue and I took the crab. I was horrified. So at that point, I just shaved everything off. I was like, I'm done. I'm just shaving everything. I'm freaked the shampoos. You got you buy you had to go buy these shampoos and shampoo your, your, your <laughs> penis hair. I was like, you know what? I'm just God. shaving this. I'm just shaving this shit off. Forget about the shampoo. And you know what? Real, like, why would you I don't understand why you want to have to like who wants to save their pubic hair when you can just shave it off and the crabs go away? Yeah. Well, I, I mean this is going back, you know, when, you know, in the in, in the in the uh in the eighties, you know what I mean? So at the time I still had, you know, I had a little pubic hair going on. It was, you know, I kept, it, you know, I kept it. You shaped. couldn't lose it. Cause I, it, I, it wasn't no, that, that, you know, then I had my friends telling me, go, yo, Jimmy, you know how to get rid of those crabs. I said, no, how, please tell me. They said, they're my friends. Shave, I can't get shave, rid of them now. Sh- did my friends telling me this, shave half the pubic hair off. I said, yeah. They said, light the other side on fire and stand there with a nice off. pick. And stand there as they run out as of the they forest. come out of the fire <laughs> I said, Yeah, okay. That sounds great. I'll do that. I just shaved it right off. That was it. I never grew it back. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And now that's the sanitary, style. Sanitary. Yeah. Man. I d I d I don't like uh, you know, even when I was younger, if a girl had a push and I went down on a you know, no matter what they do, you can still smell a little urine going on down there. You know, it's just, it saves the, yeah. the flavor. It's it's just not right. You know it what I mean? Saves so the flavor. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a it's like a well wrapped taco in serene wrap. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, well, and then you got everything, you know. Then you got done, everything in your, you, you know. Yeah. School lunch, unwrap that school lunch on a nice moist hot day, and all the flavors waft out. Oh, you got a thumbs up for that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why does that happen? Why were we doing that the other day, Lee? Hey, what looking. the hell? Why are you fireworking? <laughs> Hold on. Did I know we were doing this. It? I was doing I this the other day with somebody, and uh, what know, is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Did you do that? I want to do why that. Why don't I get stuff like that? <laughs> Dude, that is so insane. Well, that's you know that's uh you know that's the that's the result of my story with the uh you yeah. know going down on the uh you know. Jimmy, <laughs> 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 
That is insane. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I don't know why my phone does that, <laughs> but you know, AI, I guess. I don't know. Google. I don't know. You have to Google. Only Jimmy can do it. Google. It how do you make the thumb? Time. How do you make thumbs up and fireworks happen? Google well, this is this is the it. best, man. This is the Look best. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you need the right music, though. We got to give you like some dance. There we go. All right, now do your ready? fireworks. All right, ready? Do go it. ahead. Yeah. yeah. Katy Perry fireworks. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> you need the Katy Perry song. Right? <laughs> What's in the space? Oh my god! Nah, it's dumb. All right, we you know, the then, one. You know, then in the, you know, then also the one. You know, the, if you do the yeah. one thumb up, do the one up. We gotta make sure here. So that's how that works. There. Now we know. But apparently, only Jimmy can do it. After Google, Google, how does it happen, Tyler? What phone you got, Jimmy? You got an iPhone? Yeah, I, got I the, feel uh, like it's something with StreamYard. I got the 14 Pro, man. This thing is amazing. It does so much stuff. Look, thumbs up. You, now you do it, Lee. This is the rest of the episode. Yeah, We're just gonna keep trying this. I got, the, I got the fireworks going on. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> man, dude, that's crazy. That must be some setting. <laughs> Wait, there's hotkeys. Do look into that. Does do any of it thumbs down? No, not <laughs> kind of blow my peace? mind. How about a peace symbol? No, nothing with the peace. No, just a, just a <laughs> thumbs up. I don't know. It's, it's, it's it's very so explosive. Google, Google on the computer. What makes that? <laughs> I thought you were doing it, Tyler. Oh man, I wish. All right, two it thumbs up. Fireworks. It's a setting that you can get onto. <laughs> Okay, what's happening here? What's happening? <laughs> All the gestures to trigger reaction effects in FaceTime. Yeah. All right, so apparently it is his newer iPhone doing this crap. Okay, you can do love too. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, what happens if you do if you do this? Isn't it that love? What does that do? Does it do anything? Like this. Nothing. Oh, yeah, Lee, there's Lee. Like a whole thing. Hey, Lee. I got, I got love, Lee huh? got it. Lee, Lee got it. Lee just did it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm not on an iPhone, so it shouldn't work for me. Where'd I go? <laughs> 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 this is ridiculous. We're like a bunch of boomers learning right, like Lee, new Lee, shit Lee, right Lee. now. How did you do that, Lee? If you do two thumbs down, it should give you a cloud. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Confessions are about to get a lot more serious. <laughs> Look at you goobers go. Uh, what else? There is a peace sign. Victory peace sign. How do you do it? Oh, like, just do like this to two. They get the balloons. <laughs> oh, that's great. And they go behind you. <laughs> do the Richard Nixon. <laughs> I need the fireworks. Isn't that funny? And then you can do rock on too. You can do the rock on should do something. What's that do? Nothing. Or it's like this way. Turn it around. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, that's pretty fun. How'd you do that, Lee? He's gotta keep the dance pop on for these goobers when they're doing all this stuff. Whoa. <laughs> I still can't get the fireworks. Like we could do it like this. We could do this. <laughs> we, after all these episodes, we finally understand why you got a thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> why, don't, why don't I get the fireworks? All I get is the thumbs up. <laughs> try again. Give, give it a real call. Yeah, do the try. two thumbs up, Lee, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're tattoos. Maybe you're too tattooed. <laughs> he, he, he was. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. I got it. <laughs> That must be the Amazing. tattoo. This is quality content, everyone. Yeah, look, the tattoos don't do it. Look, the tattoos stop it. The tattoos don't help. 
<laughs> the next, half, next half an hour, everyone. Next next 30 minutes, we're just going to do this. I'm going to drink, <laughs> and we're going to keep doing this for fun. <laughs> oh, man, that one doesn't do anything. That's amazing yeah. they didn't build that in. Oh, they, they, there it goes. That, that's what... <laughs> How about this? I feel like we got them all. We got the confetti, the fireworks, the heart, the laser. <laughs> All right, great work, every great, great work, everyone. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you so. <laughs> like you know kids, what? Man. You guys never gave. Uh, <laughs> well, wow, it's coming right out of his chest. There, isn't that beautiful? That's cool. We never actually got to what we I thought about this that. guy's confession. I don't know. We're just, look at us. We're just too busy with our iPhone. <laughs> 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 How'd you do that, Lee? What, what is it? How do you do that with the hard thing? Make your hands like that. Like, you got to like close your fingers. Oh, man. You're a little, you're a little dark, too, Jimmy. It might be hard for like, it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember. <laughs> you like the firework. <laughs> had too much fun. All right, back to business. All right, Lee, let's get back to the guy banging the secretary. <laughs> What was that? Oh my god, the Pope! You see what the Pope does when you do that? No, do it again, Lee. Do it one more time. Look, watch the Pope. Look at his face! Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, and then he gets a phone call. Worst episode ever. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> what was your verdict, uh, Lee? For, for an hour, for an hour, we just kind of sit here like this. <laughs> Hold on. Hello. You give that two thumbs down, Jimmy. <laughs> That's what we think about your phone call interruption. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right. Lee, it sounded like you had a pretty scathing response to the person's confession. Well, was Son that the end of it? How, how did it end? How did it end? Okay, oh, it ended with him saying, depending on what she does to me during the week, I'll throw her a bonus couple hundred bucks each week. I have my own personal little whore. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit paranoid, though, that she might tell someone or, get, or I'll get caught. Do you gentlemen think I should stop or should I just keep things going? Your friend. You really got to ask that. <laughs> You've been married 43 years. You got this construction business. I'm guessing pretty good business. Most construction video companies are. So I'm thinking you're going to lose it all over this young piece of ass. And then could you imagine if she turns around and says him being the older guy, he took advantage him being the older guy, being her oh, boss, gosh. it's like a, a like position a of power. Einstein type thing. Yeah, position. You got a position power. of power and a responsibility. And she felt she felt obligated to do this in fear of losing her job. She's going to turn it around and make she you could, look yeah, like. Yeah, even if it's as twisted as he said, like she could twist that right around to oh, her. Oh, she's got all the power. He thinks he's got the power, but oh my god, she's got the power. <clears throat> I'd cut that off, but the thing is, now <sighs> cuts it off. That's when she could get nasty. It's true. It's true. What are you going to do to stop doing the extra pain that we're not doing this anymore? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Like, no, you're going to keep paying me, but I'm not going to do the sexual things, but the payment's going to come in and it's going to be double. I can't believe women still exist like better. Like, I can't mm -hmm. believe it still goes down like this. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 ha I, have, I have a scenario for the gentleman. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us, Jimmy. Yeah, I do. So I'm thinking that, you know, the guy's 65. Mm -hmm. He's been with his woman 43 years. He feels dead. He feels dead. Mm -hmm. So he's willing well, he's to got, risk. He's going to be dead soon. <laughs> <laughs> Once so, his wife finds you know, I, 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 I'm going to give him, listen, I don't really believe in cheating on your wife and all that. I don't. Yeah. I, you know, you make the commitment and you follow through mm. with it. But... You know, at this point, the guy's, you know, been married, you know, longer than Tyler's been alive. It's true. And, uh, you know, he's probably sick. You know, he's fed up. Maybe she yeah. don't put out. You know, uh, he's with his he's with soul, you know, like two generations already. 
and the guy feels dead. I had a friend like that. He felt dead with his uh, girl. Dead. He didn't he mention any of that, though, Jimmy. Huh? He didn't mention any of that. It sounded like things were going pretty well, and this was kind of just fell in his lap. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if in order for him to, I don't, I don't think so, because in order for him to do this, he had to feel dead inside. Oh damn! Like if everything was really actually great, he would never have. He'd been like right, fine. right, because if things were great and sex, you know, his wife was swinging from chandeliers and everything was, you know, great, he wouldn't be looking, you know, to this here. So I think the guy is, he's, he's had it. He's he wouldn't have picked the sluttiest looking twenty-three-year-old secretary. Right, he wouldn't have done that. He would have picked some old lady just so he wouldn't have the temptation. You know, he would have hired, <laughs> Daddy, some, you know, some seventy-year-old woman who was good at accounting. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he he wouldn't Asshole. have went this route. You know, he he the man is sick. The man's looking for a new lease on life. He's 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 looking. And you know what? I think at this point he don't even care if he does lose. I don't know how much he's going to lose, but he's going to have to give us something. But anyway, I think when if it falls apart and if this girl turns around and says to him, listen, like Lee said, I want more money or I'm going to reveal this and that and this and that. Yeah. The guy might turn around and say, listen, I don't give a shit what you do. Go ahead. You know, do me a favor. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's probably at that point, you know, at 65. I mean, you know, yeah. listen, I'm 65 too. I mean, you know, what, how many good years we got left, brother? You know, what I mean? 10, you know, if we're lucky, 10, according, 10, according, you know, to, day, walking, you know, according to that. 10 days, Jimmy, 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, according to Dave, I have, uh, you know, weeks. You're, you're <laughs> on borrowed time as we speak. <laughs> I'm on borrowed time right now, so I don't know when the, um, my light switch is going to go up. So, you know what? Yeah. Enjoy yourself, man. I, I, I tell the guy, listen. You're with her 43 years, man. You did your diligence. Yeah. You did your duty. You know, you took care of her. And if this falls apart, you're still going to take care of her because you're going to give her part of the business. You're going to give her money. You're <laughs> going to give her a house. Whatever it's going to be, you're going to do. And then after you split up and you go out on your own, you're going to be like a new man. You're going to yeah. feel great. You're going to feel young again. And you're going to be dating and all of that there. So don't hey, worry Jimmy, about don't it. forget, though, he works construction. His wife's been with him long enough to know the ins and outs. Right. He could be worth more dead, so he could have an accident at work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That, oh man, that, that's that, a different that, angle. That, that could very well be. He has to watch his mm -hmm. back. He has to. Because maybe, she, <laughs> maybe she's having the wife secretly <laughs> an affair with one of his workers, and the worker who, is, who she's uh -huh. having an affair with is one of his friends who she show, he showed the video to. So now that he's seen the video, while he's banging the wife, he's telling the wife, what the husband's done. So now these two are going to plot to have him have an accident at work. Listen, I think, I personally <laughs> think, I personally think that, you know, him showing videos to his friends was a mistake because mm -hmm. it's almost like he wants to get caught. You know what I mean? Exactly. Let's He's got to warm up by the fire. Let's just do that. Isn't that nice? So no, it's no. almost it's almost like he wants to get caught because why would you be showing videos to your work? Exactly. I mean, come on. I yeah, mean, he, you yeah. know that was a loose clip, sick shit. Listen, man, if you were, if you were doing I'd be this, so discreet. Shit. If I even did something like right. that, right? Exactly. Not the I'm not, I just cut in here for a second because I came. You know how I just said that quote: "Loose lips sink ships." How do loose lips sink a ship? That is a question I need to know. Well, that's <laughs> like very really? easy, Lee. It's very easy. Yeah, tell me, Jimmy. So what it is is that you know when uh, if, you know, if you're on a, a navy ship, yeah. and somebody so, and, and somebody you know, opens their mouth that gives away their position mm -hmm. or whatever like that, and they get uh, thrown out of the water, that's what happens. You know, you no, got to think. Quite, if you just say you know, you're on the ship and you're talking to your mate. You loose lips with your mate. How's that going to sink the ship? Well, this is what happens if you watch any World War II movies when the, you know when the ship or submarine is submerged. Mm -hmm. They have to stay quiet. They have to shut the engines because. The sub will yeah. pick up the noise of the engine, whatever you know. If they don't, they don't see it with a periscope, and they, you know, and they got to, you know, that's it's an old saying. That's like you know, yeah, like, but if, uh, the, yeah, but if we're on the same ship and I'm talking to you and I'm telling you a secret, having loose lips, I'm not giving away our coordinates to some Japanese vessel in the area. <laughs> How's that think the ship? Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe somebody, can, maybe somebody can enlighten us. Like, it's like a bird, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. How does that work out? Because to me, it's more like a bird in the hand shits on the wrist. So how does the saying go? Right. 
true. I mean, loose <laughs> lips sink ships. Yeah, I never heard that. You know, it's dumb. I never heard that. It, it, it is kind of a dumb, rolling yeah. a rolling stone gathers no moss. That makes sense. That makes sense because it's perpetually moving. It's like moving. It hasn't got time to sit there and gather moss like idle hands do the devil's work, Jimmy, and shit like that. But you know, <laughs> well, that's why they say like to, like with me, they say no grass grows under my feet. That's another yeah, thing. Move- that means. Yeah, I'm always on a move. I'm, I'm never yeah. home. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, you'll be yeah. pushing up Daisy soon, buddy, but let's not get to that. That's true. So the other thing is the nine yards. I don't know if people know that. Every, you ever hear that, that saying, give them the whole nine yards? I yeah. got the whole nine yards. Do you actually know what that means? No. Tell a, us. Little triv- a little trivia. Tell us, Jimmy. You know, yeah, so anyway, you, you know, uh, an ammo can, which I have in my room, okay, a military ammo can, Yep. When they keep the 50 caliber belt in it yep. and it feeds the feeds the machine gun, it's a nine yard belt. That's where mm. they're saying it came from. So when they say give them the give them the whole nine yards, yeah. it's coming from it's coming out of that <laughs> ammo can. Empty the clip in his ass. Em- empty the <laughs> empty the empty the belt on that son of a bitch. The whole nine yards. Yeah. It's three yards. Nine yards, I'm sorry. That's what it is. See that we learned that today, but still, mm-hmm. why is a bird in one hand worth two in the bush? <laughs> I don't know. one of the dumbest idioms. I, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. It's kind of. It sounds kind of retarded. If I, right? if I got a bird here sitting in my hand, a beautiful bird, and I'm patting him, and I'm like, "Hello, Polly, <laughs> how are you? Hello, 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 Ruford. He's a beautiful bird. His name's Ruford. Beautiful plumage. Ruford. <laughs> plumage. Beautiful plumage. Well, look Ruford. at the plumage on that one. He's like a purpley green. He's got breasts of red and yellow." And a bit of green coming Look through. Sounds green. like you're talking about an old petty or something, Lee. Rufus, yeah. A beautiful yeah. plumage. And I'm and you're patting him. And I'm like, I've got Rufus in my hand and I'm patting him. And I'm like, you know what, Rufus? You're in my hand, but you're you're worth two in the bush. <laughs> I'm like, how does how does that happen? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Now if they said like a cock in one hand a cock in one hand is worth two in the bush, meaning her bush, I could understand that, but right. I don't know if I could understand I wonder if that. it means like because you got a bird, you got a captive. So a captive <laughs> bird in one hand is worth like two, three birds in the bush. I I, that's I all I can I, think. I don't understand that logic myself. I, really oh, I would I would go with that. Go a while, Tyler. That Lee said that it's like it's more use like when it's captive or held restrained in your hand, it's worth more when it's flying around in but the, yeah. the bush. Why the bush? I don't know. I don't know either. I, I guess they that's where they dwell, right? Like they the dwell bushes. in the... Came up with that saying. Uh, is there like an origin where that come from, Tyler, that you could let us know on your little tappy tap there? Uh, uh, yeah, Lee. Uh, Tyler, check that out. I'm on what it. That, I'm the guy the in the chair. What it's a medieval it? falconry. The idiom has roots in medieval, speaking of medieval times, where having a bird in hand was tangible and guaranteed possession while the yeah. possibility of capturing two birds in the bush was uncertain so a bird it's the other way the bird in the hand is worth two in the bush because you don't know if you're going to get the ones in the bush but you got yeah. them in your hand that's pretty cool actually oh, i like that yeah holy yeah. shit look at that lee see we're learning stuff jimmy so Rufus, and, and the rolling the rolling Rufus. stone is that just as we perceive it is like the Rolling Stone gathers no moss. Is that just? You know, Tyler, look up nine yards with the meaning behind it. See if I was, co- I was yeah. correct see, on the nine see yards. See Jimmy's story is correct. <laughs> or he's yeah, just fact check up. me. Yeah. I'm going to fact check you. Fact, fact check Biden here. Right? <laughs> Listen to his computer. And this is all immediately, <laughs> he like my keyboard, this is all immediately from AI. So who knows <laughs> how accurate it is. AI is the devil. It is. The whole nine yards is a colloquial American English phrase meaning everything, the whole lot, or all the way. It's used to describe, but where does it come from? The yeah. origin. Right. Oxford English Dictionary places the earliest published non idiomatic use of the phrase back to 1855 in a comedic yep. short story called The Judge's Big Shirt. <laughs> That's I, retarded. Damn <laughs> Let's, uh, Jimmy's idea sounded better. Uh, it did. <laughs> it definitely did. Because there is I'm nine yards in that reading game. AI oh, uh, you know what, Tyler? Do this. Answers. How, I say, do this. So, so do this, Tyler. Say, how is uh, how many yards are in a, a fifty caliber belt and an ammo can? 
I got to pee. Hold on. I got to pee. Google that. Do that, Tyler. Yeah. Well, how many yards are in an ammo can? How many 50? What is the 50 yard belt in an ammo can? How many yards? See what it says. How many yards, what? Are in a 50 caliber uh, ammo can. I'm going to get flagged. Appar wow. Uh, according to Zombie Survival Camp, 1,200 RDS. I don't know. I don't know what the, is that rounds? 1,200 rounds. Right. You we'll fit in a 50 in cal the, ammo the, can. How many yards is that? Could you could you ask that? Uh, how, many, how many yards are in a... How many yards are in a 50 caliber belt? I feel like yards will be a weird measure. Generally, it's a 200 yards. There you go. 200 yards? If you're curious about the effective range of a 50 caliber muzzle loader, it's generally up no, to 200. No, that's the distance oh. it shoots. Yeah, no. I got about. nothing, dude. It, it doesn't measure that in yards. Uh, they don't know what they're Not they're immediately, about. anyways. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what it's, the hell they're doing. It's, it's a nine-yard belt. I was in a Marine Corps. That's what it was. Nine yards. Shit. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't be one to be like, AI is perfect, and you can trust it every time. It doesn't know shit half the time. How many feet are in the yard, Tyler? 12. No. What? There's 12 feet in a yard? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Now I'm going to look a dummy on air. Well, Google that. See what it says. I'm saying it's, not it's three. 12? I'm saying it's three feet in a yard. Google it. Oh, yeah, it's three. I'm dumb. Okay. All right. It's three feet to a yard. So nine yards. I was thinking inches, 12 inches to a foot. So nine yards is how many feet? If there's three feet in a yard and you got nine 27 yards. 27 feet. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's it. Now we know. That's what you got in the ammo can. 27 well, feet. That's a good amount. How is you that noise? The, you hear the squawking? That's Baxter. It's a Baxter intermission. What is he doing? Is he killing a rooster? <laughs> He's got his little... Oh, he dropped it. He's got his little squawky. It's his squawky ice cream cone. Was it nine yards? There's a heart. It might trigger the gesture. Careful. Nice. I like that. Oh, my God. So, Lee, are you going to go to the... Uh... I just had to go do a pee, but when I was up, I thought, you know what? i got to sit down. I sat down. And I swear to God, it was like someone just put a fucking landmine in the beef stroganoff. Oh, wow. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Boom, it just exploded in the In bowl. the restroom? You just now? Yeah. You guys aren't having your – you're not having your fibrolize. That would come out nice. I ran out of fibrolize, so I had to use Metamucil. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just telling me you took a poop? A big one. <laughs> just went boom like that. Boom. You didn't go on anyone's head, did you? No. Right. So you said you were like going that. to take a you were going to take a pee. Well, when did, you took but a then, pee. but then you know when you're taking a pee, you no, feel like you got to pass gas, but you're like, hold on, if I pass uh -oh. gas, there's there could be follow through. <laughs> so I sat down, Jimmy, and I was like, I stepped on a landmine and I blew off <laughs> Murphy's legs. Brown bits just hit the fucking bowl like boom. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Lee, you're very graphic, man. That's what I love about you, bro. Right, I hope you feel better. <laughs> no whole bars, man. <laughs> my ring hole, my ring hole was a bit on fire. I'm trying to think, what did I eat? Did you have any alcohol, Lee? No, no, I haven't had alcohol since Alabama. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like Dave on After Hours too. Before you come on, he's talking about it again. He makes out like I'm a fucking drunk. Oh, Lee was so drunk, he was abusing everyone. Then Larry and um, I'm on it like. That's because we weren't there. If we were there, we were, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, oh, like, what, what, what? You would have put him in the hospital, would you, Larry? You would have put him in the hospital. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 Lee, what do you mean if Larry was there? What, what if Larry was there, what would have happened? Dave said I would have been put in the hospital from the way I was acting. I don't understand that. How would you be put in the hospital? Who's going to put you in the hospital? Because I was putting shit on. You know how I was having fun, making fun of Dave and you and Greg and that? Uh-huh. If, I, if he had been there and I did that to him, he would have put me in the hospital. Oh, I get it now. I get it. Because mm. you can't have fun with those people, Jimmy. you got to be serious. Well, I don't know, man. I don't dislike those two guys, but uh, 
you know. You gotta you gotta lighten up and have a laugh and a joke if you wanna be part of the family. I guess I don't I, want to be I, I don't I just don't really, you know, I'm not talking bad about them. I know Dave likes them, but I I just I don't know I I don't I don't feel a connection with them. Let's put it that way. That's that's a good way to put it. I don't feel. You just connection. gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. It's like I mean, like, like you know, we, me and you, me and you have been friends for years now. We know we connect. Even Tyler, you know, we we connect. We laugh. We could joke. John, yeah. you know, John breaks my balls, but he's really, you know, the, but John that's really the loves whole me. Thing. That's the whole thing of the RX family. We bust each other's balls. That's what you're meant right. to do. Right. But that's you can't you can't bust families' balls and go. You bust my balls, I'll put you in the hospital. It's like <laughs> light, lighten up. I mean, listen, all my friends. Look, you, man, get, you get to no. that point in your life where you're getting that old, you're going to be in the hospital anyway. So it's like, <laughs> chill, out. chill out, relax. Look at Tyler. He had shit put on him. By the time he left Alabama, he wasn't sure if he had fucking <laughs> cancer, MS. He didn't know what he was going through. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. Went I, 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 I drug. I got all these you know, ailments. I don't know what's going on with me. He got home and he was just depressed. He put little back like a wish references right. the shelf. He's like, I don't know what happened. I was like, <laughs> you know, Lee, I, I got to say, you know, like all my friends in my past, <clears throat> and they, like even Frank Zeppi, you know, um, I traveled with him for years. All we did was laugh and break each other's balls. I'll tell you a quick story about Frank, right? So we were yep. in uh, we were in Vegas. I think we were in Vegas. Yep. What and, happens um, in Vegas? in Vegas, Jimmy. You know yeah, what they say. This, but this is not a bad story. So okay. what happened was, uh, you know, we used to go out drinking every fucking night, right? So <laughs> anyway, I'm in my hotel room, and this hotel had like a, you know, a, a lobby was in the center, and all the tiers, the, the rooms went up, up in the, you know. Uh, so you could actually come out of your room, look down the balcony, and look oh, at the lobby. Those. Oh, one of those ones, huh? Yeah, it was one of those. I forget what hotel it was. Have but... you ever stood in those hotels and thought if I leap off this balcony and end up in the foyer, I could make a good splatter? <laughs> yeah, you can. I've often thought about that. Jesus. I thought about it too. Don't do the hearts to that. <laughs> you guys. So anyway, so this is late at night. I'm bombed. I'm in my room. And all of a sudden, I hear, you know, so don't forget now, this is a hotel with, with the, 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 the middle was open, and it was uh, either square or round, I forget, but then you yeah. have each floor. Yeah. You know, so if you come out of your balcony, you can actually see across yeah. The, the, yeah. The, to, the, to, the, to the floors over there. Yeah. You know what I, mean? like, I like those uh, hotels. They're pretty good, aren't they? That's what they are, yeah. So I come, I, 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 someone's ringing, someone's knocking on my fucking door. It's like fucking four in the morning, right? I was bombed. So I, you know, I get up, I'm in my freaking shorts, you know, and I open the door and it's some dude standing there with like fucking three pizza pies, right? And uh, <laughs> I look at the guy, I go, you're kidding me, right? What, what, what's with the pizza? He goes, well, you ordered the pizza. I said, I didn't order shit. I said, well, <laughs> I don't know. You walked me up out of a dead sleep. You ordered me fucking three pizza pies. I said, what, what's wrong with you? You know, and all of a sudden I hear <laughs> laughing. It's Frank across the way on his tier laughing. He ordered pizza to my room. And the guy was knocking on my door. I said, you know, he did, it's a practical joke, you know. So he was laughing hysterical, you know. So anyway, and that's the shit we used to do to each other, man. You know, I know. Just, that's just crazy. Should, that's what, and that's what you should be able to do and have a laugh about it. Don't take it. And then, you know, we went to New Orleans together, and we did like me and you, Lee. You know, we got me and Frank up. I think someone put shit now. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yell across the Frank. I'll put you in the fucking hospital for that. No, no. I, yeah. I just I just was laughing too. I said, Frank, you motherfucker. You know, that's not, you know, it was not nothing like that. I'll put you in a hospital. I mean, who, who says shit like that yeah, amongst friends? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, anyway, I mean, you know, so, you know, one time we were in New Orleans. Dave was actually there. And uh, we were in the French quarters there. And uh, me and Frank went out all night, man. We were hitting bars and restaurants and we ended up at this place called Felix. It was the most uh hottest mm -hmm. oyster bar in in, oh. in uh in uh, uh yeah in in, a, in New Orleans, right? It was, I mean oysters. yeah it was, it was I never had an oyster in my life. Really? So, oh no and this is New Orleans Tyler right it's so the right we, place we, to try. It's called I don't know if you can look it up it's called Felix's in uh, in uh in uh New Orleans right Take a look. Yeah, take a look, cause I, I I know after the storm, I think it it's not. Oh over yeah, anymore. it's still it's still a thing. It is. Oh yeah. Felix's oyster bar. 
They got a bougie website. Check this out. Really? How did we get the balloons to come up? Uh, simply the best. Renowned for Trog Road oysters. Hey, Jimmy, I'm just looking at the Patrick Bet David thing popped up here. It says that Bryce Mitchell is telling Patrick Bet David claims the earth is flat, the firmament, and the earth doesn't it is. move. It is flat. Wait a minute. Now, so, Tyler, what, 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 what place is this? That was Felix's. Really? So, so Felix is, uh, is still, uh, still uh, there. It's still there. So yes. anyway, so me and Frank went there. It was my first time ever, right? I want the balloons. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how we did the balloons there. Oh, there you go. Oh, you did the you did the Ozzy Osbourne thing. Yeah. You guys are Ozzy, so ridiculous. Ozzy Osbourne does that. Look at that. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So anyway, me, me and Frank walk into this place. It's supposed to be like the world's famous oyster bar ever right, in New Orleans. I can't believe they're still open. So we go in there. It's like four or five deep at the bar. They had this yeah. long cement bar, you know, went, went the whole mm. length of the place, right? And yeah. everybody's at the bar. They're drinking. Yeah, like Sodom and Gomorrah to me. It, it, it was, actually. And all the women in there. <laughs> Are dressed up all fancy because it's New Orleans, mm -hmm. right? They got the hats and you know it's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> so me and Frank oh. are hanging there. I'm do I'm drinking white the uh, white Russian. Russians. Yeah. Oh. I'm drinking white Russian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know about the white Russian Lee. Mm -hmm. I like white Russians. So I'm <laughs> down in white Russians. I'm getting. Don't be racist. Looking. You're like any Russians of any multicultural race, Jimmy. Be 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 specific these days, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy loves all colored Russians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't matter. So, you know, me and Lee, I mean, me, me, and Lee, me and Frank are down in the, uh, you know, the white Russians, and then the, the guys were behind the, the cement bar, and they're just chucking, you know, oysters. That's all they're doing is just chucking and chucking. There was, there was so many people there when we were there, you know? And I just started, uh, I made a, uh, what's that red sauce, Tyler, that you would do? And then you put the... Ketchup. Uh, Worcester and cocktail uh, sauce, horseradish and Worcester, something like that, and you mix it up. The red is the cocktail sauce. And okay, then, the, uh, co the cocktail, and then you put the horseradish. Yeah, the horseradish. I love the horseradish. Right, on right, right, right. Oh, so man, you get the good. you get the cocktail sauce and the little thing, and then you put the horseradish. You mix it up, and then you pour it on your oyster, man. Holy shit! It's good stuff. Oh my god! I, you have I, them raw, I, or do you have them char grilled? Raw. Yeah, you know, so that's I, how I, that's I, what I, go. I, I, I did the cocktail sauce. I guess like shrimp cocktail, right? So it's kind of like yeah, well, yeah. Jimmy, and, Jimmy, and, and the, the, the cocktail sauce is meant to go on your cock. So it is where you went wrong. You got it wrong. Yeah, not your. No, right. I, 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 I got the name. You know, I just I like I like lemon and I like a little bit of the horseradish and oh man, they're good. Horseradish it's, is terrible. Ugh. It's a well, if you, if you, and if oysters you, are weird. A lot of people hate oysters because I mean it's basically like the consistency of oysters like movie. Years, I'll tell you how oysters are made. Over the years, you have like you know, hundreds, thousands of years, people have been sailing the seas, sailing the seas, and the fish of <laughs> all the salesmen, the Vikings, I gotta get some more wine. I gotta the get Vikings, <laughs> everyone, they're all on the ship, and as they're on the ship going over the seas, they go <laughs> and they spit oh, overboard, oh, and that bit, oh, of, oh, that bit oh, of fucking oh, green phlegm. That they <laughs> goes into the ocean and he saves a little shell, captures that phlegm. So what you're eating, what you're eating is the phlegm of sailors from hundreds of years that have been sailing around the world. Wow. That's, that's disgustingly. So it's like an aged kind of food. It is, it's it is. Aged it's snot. Aged aged snot aged oh, yeah, exactly. In it's amazing shell. that like a crustacean takes over it and kind of like encapsulates mm -hmm. it in a shell. It does, and that's how it gets that like shitty flavor. It's slimy, it's green. <laughs> oh. I shucked oysters before. That was a hell of an experience. It's, it's, it's harder than you would think. You got to like. You got to be careful. Like, say that. It sounds like you fucked oysters. Is that what you did? <laughs> oh, anyway, shucks. You, you got to say, careful. I, I got to say, Lee, Tyler, you, you would think oysters are disgusting because they look like. Somebody shot a shazole in there, and, and, right? And, yes, right? Exactly. So, I know you're right, though. Like nothing about it should work, and really, I, yeah, really, if you, delicious. Up, if, you up, like, if you look up that green taco, whatever it is, 
you know, whatever whatever that disease is that they get on their vagina, girls get. Is it green taco or green waffle or I don't know. Don't make me look that up. They look up something uh, waffle. Dirt, something waffle, dirty waffle, green waffle. I'm not looking up the blue waffle. Blue waffle, that's what it is. The Which would be a waffle. really bad cafe name. Look at it. Look up blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> An oyster is a blue what waffle. What the hell is a blue waffle, Tyler? That's a it's a slang term for a venereal disease, Jimmy. Oh Hold up. Hold my it up. It's, God. Very... it's a venereal you know, disease that causes oyster like discharge. I I had a girl like that years ago. A blue no. Yeah, I, I when I used to do her doggy style, I yeah. had to turn my head to the side because the, 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 the smell. Stench, yeah, it was oh, yeah, so when you when you, hit, when you hit the air comes up. Something's wrong. Something's wrong when you have to turn your head to the side <laughs> while you're having sex with someone. <laughs> that, that is, is like that. You say that's wrong, but to me that shows commitment that he didn't stop. He followed through. He could have stopped like anybody else, but no. He just went. It's you know, what? Ideal. As, as as you hit and the air comes up, you just turn your head. It's like the a bit of the ocean in the blowhole, and the oh, air comes up. <laughs> <laughs> We call it the yeah, dirty dogs that blow we hole air. Dirty, we call it the dirty dolphin. <laughs> the dirty dolphin. <laughs> Jimmy, Wait. can you hear? Like I was, like I was saying. Yeah, I, I, it it we go ahead and reiterate all of it. Called the dirty, it's called the dirty dolphin because as you're hitting the blowhole, the air is coming out, and it's like the, you know. Lee, you it was the most horrible. Thing. Thing. Listen, I, I really liked this girl at the time. I was very young. I was in my twenties. And um and she said, Hey sweetheart, you have a venereal disease. You gotta get I I, I finally had it. Listen, it, it was should have said, Hey flipper, disease. hey flipper, check your blow. So anyway, I tell you, I have nightmares after this show. Anyway, so I, I couldn't take it anymore. The girl and like and, and a white foamy stuff used to come out of there. Like when I was, oh, hey, how's this, Jimmy? How's this? Tell me, am I wrong? I bet even after the next day, even though you showered, you go to take a pee, and as you're standing there peeing, you're like, I can still smell it. It's like that shit's hard to get off. It's like you've been straight skunk. It's like a fucking skunk puss. I tell Man, you, I'm fortunate I haven't had to deal with this. I learned about this in sex ed, but I never had to deal with this. Yeah, so I finally told her I couldn't take it anymore. I was with her like you know numerous times, of course. And then one night I was with her. She was doggy style. I was in the bedroom and I was doing a doggy style, you know. And this just the, the aroma, you know. And I kept putting my head to the side. I'm like, I, I can't. Flares the nostril. Maybe maybe, maybe she had a dead <laughs> feet up there and it was never came out. I don't know what was out there. Dead mouse. Well, I don't know. So anyway, you know. So I finally had to tell her. I said, listen. You want me to? If you want to continue this relationship, and you want me to be, you have to. I, I, you, you have a problem, and I, and I have to. On? I have to be honest with you. I have to tell you about it because you know I care about you, and I just, I can't. You I did just the right can't. thing. Yeah, I did. You know, and, and she got a little upset, but I said, "Listen, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's the truth. It's you know, it's yeah, it's, it's bad." Another, another saying: "Honesty is the best policy." <laughs> that was well timed. That was the first. So then one. you want to hear something funny? So <laughs> she went to the doctor. You know, she got a cream and she took care of it, whatever. You know, yeah. so I don't, I don't know if it was 100, percent but anyway, I you know we split up eventually. But then years later, right, Tyler? Years yeah. later, I opened up a store in Farmingdale called Nutrisport, yeah. right? It was yeah. I sold supplements, right? And did she come in supplement store? No, so I had to go to California for schooling about the products, right? Oh, so I flew out there and. She happened to be in Vegas. Oh. Somehow she called me, whatever. I don't know what it was. So I, I, I drove from California to, to Vegas or Arizona. I forget where it was. And we hooked up and went to a hotel and we're hanging the out. Smell the stench of the rock. Now, this is years later, Lee. Years and later. It's still it's still it. So I'm it's laying fun. on the bed, you know, and, uh, you know, we're making out. And then she, you know, she, she starts getting undressed, whatever. And then, you know, then we wanted to do like the 69, you know, her turn around, mm. give me head. Oh, you know, no. Like, so, oh, but I that didn't ask bold, her to do that. Knowing the history. She did it, not me. So anyway, I'm, I'm laying in there. All of a sudden, she starts to swing around. Oh. And I see the, the rear end coming. I'm like, oh, my. I was like shaking. Like, <laughs> oh, because I saw the rear end coming. I'm like, oh, man. You know what I mean? I was like. 
Uh, you know, yeah. 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 yeah, in your face. Yeah. You're right in, my, right in my face, man. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so I had to do it. You know, I had to, I had to take one for the team. Was it still smelly? It, was, it, it was wasn't yeah. bad. It was it was okay. It was. Okay. It was. Yeah. It was she okay. cleaned up her act. Do you know I what you guys? Do you know, know what that was? I just was shaking a little bit when I saw that thing coming around. It looked well, like a. But Jimmy it looked like a giant steamboat making a Jimmy. turn in the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> she had something to prove. Yes, she did. Yeah. Because she needed to show you. Swung, that listen, because she we was were, confident. We were laying together, to, you know, kissing and oh. hugging, and all of a sudden, you know, she got up on a, all fours, and all yeah, of a sudden, you she know what? made this. It, made, it looked like a giant helicopter. I don't know. What, <laughs> just, just flying like, turned, in. She just turned around and like dropped <laughs> like, like, like a fucking, you know, like yeah, just dropped her rump right on my, right on my, you know, and I was like, I was like, oh, Lord, I was like, please, Lord, oh, for boom, and I was just like, oh, I, I, that, I that's how a baby king hip hop song starts. He goes, bitch, shit on my face. Yeah. <laughs> just like, look, Jimmy, I had that rotten uterus removed. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I ended up it worked out. It I had my, yeah. I had my ovaries in a hysterectomy just for you, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what she did, but you know, thank God it was, it was okay. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm I, glad. I'm glad the redemption story was able to, you know, chalk it was out. It a redemption story. That's what it was. She wanted to, <laughs> you know, she wanted to show me and prove, you know, prove to it me just that. just shows people uh, never give up on that person. Even yeah. if they smell like that, never give it up. The smells can go away. Exactly. It's worth, it's, there's a, exactly. the, the, the underlying lesson in all these confessions is honesty. Is like, you know what? It might suck to get, yeah. to get out, but you can improve their vagina health. Or yeah. your penile health. So right now, if you're with a girl, you tell her your cunt stinks. And if you're with a man and he's got a smelly pee pee, you go, oh, okay. hey. You pull that foreskin back and there's cheese hidden in there. Like, oh, like no! a ricotta, a ricotta cottage sitting on the top. <laughs> Break okay. that shit off on your bagel and eat it together. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna toss my Miller Lite. It's gonna come up. <laughs> yeah, you you scrape your cheese on that bagel. You dip it Stop in the you know, the stuff, dip it in the word <laughs> scrape and eat it. And eat it. You know, Tyler. Lee is a sick bastard. I don't even know he where, he, where these, I don't even know where these stuff. ideas come me. from. They just come to him like from the, from the air. I don't know. It's, just, yes, you know, it's like a divine in the. the Putting the it's cottage like a cheese and the guy's foreskin on your bagel. I mean, I, who thinks of shit like that? On your bagel, a pap smear. <laughs> That's I what he it. said. He said the guy split his the foreskin down off his penis yeah. and he scraped off the cottage cheese yeah. and put it on the bagel, man. And they had it together. And, he, and then he dipped it in her smelly puss. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. It's no, it's no different. It's not different. <laughs> and it looked just like it looked just like <laughs> an avocado on a bagel. Oh my god! God damn, dude! That's disgusting imagery. That's truly despicable. <laughs> oh, let me warm my hands. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Nothing but oh love. My god. Pussy bagel. Nothing but love. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Uh, uh, let me uh, tell you uh, something, Tyler. When we were in the, when we were in Alabama, New Orleans, right? We were sitting in the restaurant. At least we start breaking out long island iced teas, right? So, oh, the once the Long Island ice has got broken out at six p.m. It was trouble. Yeah, dude, it was earlier than that. I think it was earlier than so, that. Yeah, yeah, right. Lee, what time is yeah. it? Like four, uh, four before the pre-show, the pre show Right. Yeah. 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 So no, it was before we did the uh, the seminar. seminar. We were, right? Oh, that's right. It was before your seminar, you were loosening up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were loosening up. <laughs> so here's the funny part, right? So I'm sitting in the uh, so say this is the restaurant, right? So we're sitting, you know, in the corner of the restaurant, mm. right? So to my right, there's a wall, you know, and the <laughs> bar is over to the left. And I'm sitting in the corner, at least sitting next to me, and John was there, and we're drinking the Long Island iced teas, right? And I'm, 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 I'm getting like, I didn't really eat, so I was getting like yeah. hammered after like two of them. It's almost like, it's almost like we got roofied by Cosby on the first drink. <laughs> it really, I'm telling you, I never had, Listen, I never experienced anything like that. They at have all, so. like six liquors in them. They catch up, they sneak them on you real quick. And the girl was making them pretty good too. Oh, that was well, I mean, they there's all that honey and and delicious, not honey. What are they? They put like soda in it, don't they? Yeah, I like Coke is it? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it actually was pretty good. But anyway, here's the IBA. So, I'm looking at the official cocktail. Oh. Yeah, look up, look up the ingredients to a Long Island. But the thing was, Jimmy stood up and he went to stand up and he hit the wall. 
And as he hit the wall, as he hit the wall, he hit the wall with such ferocity, he ricocheted over to the bar. And when he landed on the bar, he looked around and said, well, I might as well get a couple more while I'm here. <laughs> that was a sign. It was like God. God threw him from the wall to the bar. You know, that's exactly what happened, right? I got yeah. up. I lost my balance. I hit I hit the wall. Okay. And I, rick and I ricocheted over to the bar, right? And the girl was looking at me, and I go, I, I, I meant to do that. I said, ah, I think, you know oh, why? Because oh, one glass is a mix of vodka, rum, gin, tequila, and triple sec. And then you get a little bit of sweet and sour mix, a little bit of cola. Holy shit. <laughs> and you guys had like, I don't know, nine each? Three. We had three of them before the seminar. <laughs> and then Dave got mad at us because me and Lee showed up at the seminar. We couldn't stop laughing in the back. <laughs> and, uh, I couldn't look at you and John on stage because it was just too funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was like one of those moments you just look at each other, you just start cracking up, right? So, you know, we're in the back behind the curtains before we go up on the stage, and Dave's getting more mad at us and shit. He's like, straight out. I can't believe this. I, I'm like, straight hey, out. come on, we're, we're the rock pack, man. Come on. I, thought, people I, thought, I, answered shit. Come on. I thought I answered the questions very straight and professional. <laughs> like, I don't think you had any problem with them. No. You know? No problems. We had a lot of fun, man, with that, you know. Uh, and then, and then George got up at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's freaking wrestling like, match. You and then we you went to the and then we went to the Italian <laughs> and then we had more Long Island iced teas and pizza. Yeah. Then we right. Oh yeah, right. Then then we had we the, pizza on the battlefield. I forgot about that. Yeah. So then after after we left the seminar, we went to the, the, that restaurant across the street. What was it called? Sasso's or something? Or Sassi? Uh, yeah, or? Like some like Italian modern restaurant i was that actually was pretty, pretty good pie though i gotta yeah. tell you man i was surprised for alabama that that pizza was fucking good man yeah. can i, I just mean, be it, honest can i confess had long island 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 island. i'm like jimmy drink it mate drink it i'm on the battlefield i'm gonna step on a landmine <laughs> <blow my feet. laughs> and jimmy's I, trying to guzzle him down to save me getting killed on the battlefield <laughs> <laughs> Please go. Yeah, you did I'm try losing a leg. I'm losing a leg. I, was like, I, I had it down the, the, you know, we were playing this game. I had it down the drink before he lost the leg. I don't know. It was crazy. It got weird. It got dire. It, <laughs> it got, got made, crazy. It got, it got nuts, made man. dire in it the Italian nuts. restaurant. And it, right in the restaurant, yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I got to tell you, though, the, the, the food was pretty yeah, good, it was. man. It was, man. Oh, my God. Of course, the fried chicken was amazing, but. I, 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 I should have had the fried chicken. I didn't have that. The fried catfish was really good, too. Oh, oh. I had the catfish. Remember the next day or That's something, right. Michelle took us out, and oh. we went to that um, uh, what was that, that place. Um, the one next door, there, yeah, the oyster farmhouse, or whatever it was, the oyster yeah. shop. Yeah, and I had I had I had fried catfish for the first time oh. in my life. I tell you, man, it was John good. Romano was like, "Damn, Tyler, you're a foodie. Respect." I had no idea. <laughs> Did you eat the catfish, Tyler? <laughs> oh yeah, we both. We got you, me, <laughs> and John got the fried fish. Catfish. He's on a special diet. Once you go get on that fucking. Radiation and chemo, you gotta eat eat clean. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I think did I take your catfish? No, I, I just catfish? Said, I'm dying, just eat all the fattening foods. It's not gonna hurt me now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm one of those no, fools. Hold, I'm just holding on to hope. So please, please, I think people, George gave me catfish. People, you saw Baxter, you saw Baxter a second ago on camera. Please donate generously so we can give Baxter a good life once his daddy's yeah. born because he's, oh. I, need, I need to get a life-size Tyler made so Baxter will not realize that he has left this <laughs> earth. It would, it would be nice for Baxter to outlive me. It would. It would, nice. it would. You don't want to outlive your children, Tyler. No, you, you hate. That's the worst. And the look at you, that definitely is not happening. So you'll be right. <laughs> Poor Baxter. You're not, far, you're not far behind Jimmy, buddy. You can stop at the Long Island Tees. I'm gonna have a double. Let me tell you something. You I tell you the truth, man. I think I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna go out tomorrow night and have some of those long eyes. I never had. So much fun. <laughs> I, I really. I, I never loosened up it, like Jimmy. that. You know. Couple huh? and FaceTime you while you're having them. Jimmy, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it because you know what? I Jimmy was coasting. Shit. Yeah, like it was. It was Lee. Lee was just like, yeah, Jimmy, and then this crazy shit and this other stuff, and then and then Jimmy's just sitting there to see. He's just like, he's just, he's listening. He's listening to every <laughs> word that Lee is telling him. You know, and he's just smiling. He's drinking. <laughs> I was. I was like. I don't even remember going back to my room that night. We're the last, like, <laughs> the video. It's on. It's on YouTube, Jimmy. It's you and me in the foyer. We're the last one standing. You admitted. Yeah. That 
we're like, I guess we're going to bed. <laughs> oh, right. That's right. Yeah, we were yeah. in the foyer. Remember, I was talking right. about Greg. I said, look at Greg over there. He's probably over there draining his arms. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember that now. Now I remember, right? We were standing in the foyer. Everybody was like to bed. Yeah. Gone. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Everybody I was done. Like the, I was like, yeah. Everybody. Dave, oh, John, everybody. Greg. We, and me and me and Lee standing in the foyer. We're like, we're like the last guy standing. <laughs> I don't even know what time it was. It was like two in the morning. I was done. I was I bailed. I Irish goodbye when the guy was rapping with the pizza outside. Yeah. I don't even remember you leaving. Were you there when Lee was making that guy rap in the street? Yeah, I kind of just like walked away with um with Michelle at that point yeah. and uh, and company. Oh, Michelle yeah. left us too. Yeah, notice that. Notice that. Once we brought in the black people, Mr. Fucking Skinhead had to leave. Oh the party. no! Had to leave the party. Yeah. Alabama really was showing its roots at that point. <laughs> yeah. I gotta tell you, man, that's... because I'm because of the baldness. Well, you can say it's a disease, but you know we know the true story. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just take the it's eyebrows like, off. Like, too. Like from roots, once that guy come out rapping. <laughs> Yo, when we were going to the famous hot dog. Ironically, place, I love hip hop. Right. <laughs> Yeah, Lee, well. Tyler, when we were going to the famous the hot dog place. Yeah, dude, the burger was better than a hot dog. I, I, I gotta tell you, man. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna say anything, but I really didn't. I wasn't crazy about the hot dog, man. I really wasn't. You know what? You heard on the video, heard you say it was great. <laughs> sure. well, you know, you're in the spot. You gotta. Well, you gotta, I, you gotta remember though. I eat hot dogs a lot, and I pretty much could say. The bun wasn't really fresh. It's probably one of the worst hot dogs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, wow. It would be an honest one. I wouldn't say it was, was the worst, but I, I, it, it was, was bad. Nah, it was pretty bad, Tyler. It was pretty bad. It I'll was, say I've had this. It's like something you would make if you're five years old at home with stale buns. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The, the confession's really coming out. <laughs> I, the burger. I thought the burger was solid, though. I really enjoyed the burger. I should have got the freaking burger, man, because I tell you the truth, I had really forced those. I think because it's been hot dogs so long. And the hot dogs been their say, you know, it's been their thing for so right. long. They just don't care anymore. They just go, fuck it. We'll just put them out however we are. So, <laughs> well, you know, Jimmy, there's a spot that unfortunately the tornado is here that happened out of fucking randomly last month. There was a spot called City Dogs, and I learned he used Nathan's hot dogs that he Those grilled are good up. Hot dogs, uh, yeah. And he had a fresh bun, and that's where I, that's where I learned put onions on them. You know, maybe a little pickle spear. The bun. And a little bit of fresh bun. If the bun is fresh, that's what makes the hot dog. If it's, it's a fresh like bun. It's an all beef, dog. delicious frank. And then it's you want get, get a little mustard, get a little onion. <laughs> oh my Listen. god, I get it. I get it, Jimmy. I'm into hot dogs now. Listen, man. <laughs> When they if they steam your bun, you know, get your bun hot, you know what I'm or saying? Or grill the bun a little bit. Or, or toast it a little bit, yeah. yeah. Or, or steam it, you know what I mean, when it comes out. Ooh. You know, you can't have a cold hot dog bun with a hot dog. It's just, no. not, it's just not good. But when you they need to steam slide, that. You need to slide that meat between a fresh, warm bun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 wiener has got to go into a nice warm bun. You're right. You're right, Lee. It does. <laughs> that wiener's got to go because between a toasty if bun. If, if, if you don't have a, a, that nice warm bun, how come I ain't get my fireworks? Man? <laughs> <laughs> the fireworks was the the two, right? If I'm remembering correctly. No, I thought the fireworks was the. Dun, dun. Look, now Lee's getting all the shit. I'm getting nothing. What is this here? What what happened? I got I got I, 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 I got to run in a second, guys, because I got to do another podcast in a little. Oh, there, well, look at that two hour. We got we're back with the two hour. There you are. So anyway, what have we learned? Here we go, Lee. You you have to get you know, the the bun has to be warm to insert the wing. I, I, I this. know that. I know that. That's when it's best. And it, it's and best. if the bun is just warm enough, and you insert the wiener. The special sauce just the special blows. mustard, the special mustard custard. Well, it's like a it's like a mayonnaise mustard combination. Oh God, gross! <laughs> you know, and the, and the best thing is when the when the bun is warm and you throw a little mustard oh, on Jimmy, the wiener it. and you it. slide the the wiener oh. into the warm bun and then you close the the bun. You know, then you kinda, close you know, the bun. Oh yeah, uh, you got to squeeze the two sides together tight, like the two sides. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Oh, it's like an explosion <laughs> in your mouth. Oh, it's unbelievable, <laughs> man! Yeah, oh, terrific. It's terrific. 
Yeah, sticks to the <laughs> roof of your mouth. No, I got to say, though, man, I was very disappointed. You know, Dave was talking this place up big time. It was famous, and it was there for 100 no, years. Smell the cool smell, spot. You could feel smell the historic the vibes. When you know? you it smelled like what a dirty wet mop. I was, I was going to say, you could feel the historic vibes. You know, I had quite this. this I could yeah. smell the vibes when I walked in. I could smell it. <laughs> it had the cool skylight circle. Jimmy's up. Cool. And he's got Jimmy. Uh, there he is. I'm here. I'm here. So I, I, I was very disappointed because, you know, you guys there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Dave was really talking the thing up, and I was like, oh, my God, we're going to have, you know, he's this famous. Had I was, on, yeah. I, I, I had like, like a, I had like a like, freaking okay, I've had a better hot dog. I've had a better hot dog. I had a better well, hot dog well, on the well, street over here, honey. And, and well, Island you're in New York. Here. Well, yeah, I've, had a hot dog. I've had a better hot yeah, dog. I mean, like, uh, I was thinking this hot dog was going to be a mate. The guy had a freaking historical plaque outside the store. Everyone yeah, ate about it. Whole story about JFK, it. Elvis, Elvis I like, went wow, there. Notice amazing. all the people I, that went there. I, I was very disappointed. Maybe they Elvis, were better Elvis back then. Maybe Martin they were Luther better King. back then when Elvis, when Elvis went there. there. <laughs> they were probably... They were probably better. Like, if Elvis is getting 300 of them, they got to be pretty decent. You well, think. Elvis Why, ate, got there. 300 ate, ate there. Martin Luther, everyone that ate there is dead. What's that tell you? What? Oh. <laughs> wow. What do you say? Everyone Everybody that ate dead. there is dead. What's that tell you? How come I can't hear Lee? I don't, I don't know. know. Um, <laughs> oh, no, Lee, what happened? What, how come you. How come you, 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 you... <laughs> Tyler, can, Tyler can hear me. Yeah, I can hear him. You could hear him. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll be the messenger for the next two hours. Well, he's got to go though. So right. go. okay, this is it. Tell All Jimmy right. I love him. I'll miss him. It was great seeing him. I can't hear him. I don't like this man. Hold he on. He says it was man. great seeing you. He says I'll miss you. I love hey, you, man, Jimmy. I'll talk. Bullshit, man. Hold on, man. He says I love you. Hold on, man. This he says we'll talk soon. Oh, oh he's cool. gone. All right. Oh, well, yeah. it's been real. Been real. I'll let him come back. Oh, confessions no. in. I got a pod podcast that send those confessions for yeah, our yeah, rainy day. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a post on my Instagram so you can write and leave your confessions on my Instagram page. There you go. Even better. Thank you. Right. Jimmy, where'd you go? Jimmy? Oh, there's Jimmy. Jimmy. There's Jimmy for the sign off. Jimmy. Right, I didn't want to sign off without hearing the uh, Lee. Okay. Hey, I, I want to sign was off. gonna bother without... me for the rest of the week. It would. Yeah. And then, yeah. if, heaven forbid you died, I didn't get to say goodbye. Well, yeah, that's oh. what I'm saying. God forbid I go to sleep tonight and I never get up. I mean, I, I never yeah. said goodbye because I couldn't hear your voice. Yeah. Very, well, well tomorrow, I, me in the afterlife, I, I you know? expect a FaceTime video of you drinking Long Island iced teas tomorrow, Jimmy. Saturday night, I will. Yes, I'm going to call okay. you. Well, I got I got to run. I got to go to the toilet again and get ready for another podcast. <laughs> Perfect. All right, it was fun, guys. Uh, was good fun. to be back in the booth. Tyler, love you. Let you know, post that, Lee, so we can get, you know, get we need more confessions, people. So please yeah. write yes. in so we can continue the show and uh, entertain you and uh, we can have a good time ourselves. Hell Thank yeah. you. God bless you. God and bless we'll see you. you next Friday. See you next Asamalaikum. Friday. Asamalaikum. <laughs> well, yeah, it's send us, there we go. Send us off on the classic fireworks. Good night. Yeah.